Bill Weekly, folks. How are we doing? I missed you guys. Well, I don't know if you've been paying attention to what I've been doing the last few months, but <laughs> I have missed you guys. I've missed this set. I have. Look, we've got Eddie back. Love having Eddie back. Welcome back to Battlefield Weekly, folks. Happy Firestorm trailer day. The next happiest day you're going to have, of course, is when Firestorm comes out. But you're going to see the trailer today. And to celebrate that, I've brought with me Firestorm's lead designer, John Stanley. Hey, everybody. Uh, yeah, really excited to get this trailer out finally today. And um, we'll talk a bit more about it. We I will. Guess. Yeah, yeah, we will. Yeah. Um, it's going to be debuting at the top of the hour. So stick with us this next 30 minutes. Go out there, bring your friends in. We'll have a party. We'll play some Battlefield in the meantime. We'll have a wee chat with you guys, see how you're all getting on. But yes, you're going to see... The Firestorm trailer today, you're going to see the first trailer of two. There is another trailer still to come. Um, you're going to see that trailer today. We're going to then come back. We're going to talk about it. We're going to break some of it down for you guys, show you some of the cool bits that you might miss because there's a lot in there to unpack. Um, and we're going to chat to you about what to expect between now and the launch of Firestorm, which is coming soon. And you'll know exactly when that's coming very, very shortly. But yes, hello to everyone who's in the chat there. I'm seeing a lot of familiar names. Hello to Wolf. Hello to Chris17 UK. Warbot, good to have you here. Darren, uh, we've got some folks watching over on EA Central as well. Thanks for joining us, guys. Bullseye's there, safe is there. Um, yes, yeah, stick with us. Play some Battlefield. We're going to do that now. We're playing on the Xbox One X. You're welcome to join us. There is just the two of us, so we've got space in our squad. Um, oh, will we play a bit of Rush? Is it time for some Rush? I think, yeah, well, as long as we can get some people in to help carry me along. Because <laughs> you do play Battlefield yourself, John, of course. I, I, I do. have the privilege I've, of doing that a I've, lot of the last year. I've dabbled. Yes, You've dabbled. Yes, dabbled, yes. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. All right. I'll queue us up for some Rush and get ready to go. Of course, Rush, it's returned. It's back. It's back in Battlefield as part of our um, Tides of War. If you haven't jumped in, what are you waiting for? Go do it. It's available on free maps, Twisted. Twisted Steel, Devastation, Narvik. Twisted Steel probably being my favourite. Don't tell the guys back at Dice. I don't, <laughs> I don't have favourites. I'm totes neutral in all of this. You love each of your trolls. <laughs> the same. <laughs> I love them all the same. <laughs> Twisted Steel is pretty great. Yeah, it's We're all fine with that. We're all fine with that. Definitely didn't try and fly a plane through the bridge a thousand times. I, well, I mean, there was the Battlefield Weekly Challenge yeah. that ran through all of last season where Kieran, if he's watching, offered a, a fiver. He was going to give me a fiver if I could do it. I never did. You should have got Grizzle to do it and pretended it was you. I know, just like, oh, this is totally my yeah. gameplay. There you go. Um, yeah, this is Battlefield Weekly, folks. We're back. We're going to be back now, weekly, as we promised. Uh, we'll be back next Thursday to talk to you about what's coming next for Battlefield. We'll be back when Firestorm's available. Yes. We'll be playing lots of Firestorm through the next few weeks. Yes. Um, and I'm just so happy. I really am. Right, we're doing this. We're playing in Rush on Narvik. Believe in it. Time for memes. Of course, the server's brand new, so it was just as we got excited, <laughs> <laughs> the server's just gone, no, 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 we're, now we're ready to go. It's uh, just, just for tension building. John, introduce yourself properly then to everyone, because you are a veteran of Criterion. Wow. You've worked on a lot of wonderful things. Yeah, that actually feels really, you know, weird to say that I'm yeah. a veteran. Yeah, yeah, I've um, worked on everything from uh, Leaf of Speed, worked, dabbled a bit on Battlefield Hardline. Just, just a dabble. Yeah, there was a dabble, a dabble. dabble. Um, yeah, we've worked on uh, Battlefront 2, um, on uh, some stuff on Battlefield 1 as well. So um, I'm currently lead designer on Firestorm, um, but I've done a whole bunch of different things. Uh, started out in QA, which is great. You, look, what, you know, learn from the ground up, it's good. And um, yeah, really, like there's been a whole bunch of different challenges to overcome over the, the course of dev life. Um, <laughs> I've... Um, like some of the really fun, funniest things that I did actually was on the um, uh, Battlefront where we did the uh, VR mission. Yeah. Yeah, that was great. It was a good challenge. Yeah. yeah. My, like my favourite story that you tell me about that is the time you was at, was at GDC and you're stood behind, was it the <laughs> president of Sony? Oh yeah, that was great. So that, no, that was, uh, yeah, that was GDC last year and uh, we were queuing up for some food and um, I was with the rest of the guys, Criterion guys. And as we were queuing up to get some food, I, I just casually turned behind me and I was like, that's, that's Shuhei Yoshida standing <laughs> behind me. I'm like, wait. And, um, you know, I like, I like my PlayStation and stuff. And uh, he's just a nice guy. He's just generally a nice guy. And um, I was like, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to him. I'm going to talk to him. And the other guys are like, no, 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 don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. And I was like, no, I'm just going to, why not? I'm just going to tell him that he's awesome. And um, so I did. And he was like, oh, hey, how are you doing? And... Uh, I just wanted to mention to you that um, I really like your work and this to, to Shuhei. 
Uh, I didn't introduce myself at all or any of the guys because I was like, such fanboy. Just having a bit of a fanboying. Yeah, moment, just fanboying. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, afterwards he was like, oh, and, and, and what, are you, what company are you with? I was like, oh, I'm, I'm with EA Criterion. And, uh, and he's like, oh, Criterion, yeah, I really loved your stuff, right? So the Amish. And I was like, oh my God, he knows, he knows. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Like, and, and he's just so genuine. Like, he's always there to, you know, appreciate what people are doing. Oh, there's a tank. Oh, God damn you, tank. Oh, multitasking. Uh, Rev Gaming, good afternoon to you. Hype, yes, the hype train is here. We are, we are leading the hype train. Uh, top of the hour, we're going to get our first proper look at Firestorm, and it's a, it's a beauty of a trailer. We're going to really enjoy tearing that apart afterwards. Um, so Magnetron, yes, we're going we're gonna to reveal the trailer, and we're going to come back and talk a lot more about it. Uh, Cliffs, good afternoon to you. I know, we're playing Rush right now. I know you, you, <laughs> the hype train is already here. <laughs> Oh yeah, see, look, this this is a running thing. Just me on the floor. <laughs> <clears throat> Ooh, I thought that's a dead corpse. No, no, get the bad guys. Sally Tater. <laughs> uh, Sol the Pupper saying, so Criterion, where's the Burnout Free remake? Well, you've got Burnout Remastered. You have the ability to go and play Burnout Paradise remake. How long have we? Seven minutes. That's, I'm impressed. I expected <laughs> seven minutes before we talked about Burnout. I'm yeah, impressed. Yeah. It's good. Um, yeah. yeah. Did you work on much of Burnout? Did that come slightly before your time joining Criterion? Uh, so I was I was on the tail end, so I actually joined Criterion just as Burnout Paradise was finishing. Right. Much to my dismay. Um, but yeah, I then got to work on uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted and you know those kinds of things that had a good deal of uh, you know Burnout kind of DNA injected into them. Um, but yeah, like, uh, yeah, in terms of uh, Burnout at the moment, yeah, there's uh, Paradise Remasters out there on PS4 and Xbox. It's good times. I'm too much of a fan of it. Uh, we got Danny, is, is that Danny on PC dropping into the Twitch chat? Good afternoon to you, Danny. You have your fans here as well. Shadow6, how are you? Right, let's see if I can actually hit something. Just make it your mission today. Right, if I get, <laughs> if I get just one hit, it's a success. And like, I don't always sound this, this gruff and awesome, it's, uh, my voice is... You, you've had a long week, haven't you, John? <laughs> because like, to explain to everyone, what's happened this week is that, of course, we've started you know, ramping up our conversations all around Firestorm, ready for, of course, the trailer dropping today, um, and, of course, the game mode coming soon. Yep. Um, so, of course, you started your week this week in Sweden. I did. Yes, along with a uh, certain other person, very Hi. close. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Yes. Uh, we didn't even, it's been so busy, we didn't even have a chance to have a nice drink. We didn't even, did we? That's how busy it is. Uh, but yeah, yeah, we started out in Stockholm this week. Um, had some uh, good memes with the game changers this week, which was good fun. There's a bloody huge tank there. Um, and yeah, like basically started out by showing off um, some of the stuff about Firestorm to those guys. Um, give them a sneak preview of the trailer. Um, what was actually really good is that hopefully some of you guys noticed as well this week up on Twitter. Um, you know, the guys tweeting out about actually what makes out a Game Changer event and how they kind of work a little bit, a bit more behind the scenes. Um, you know, it's not all... Uh, I should be careful what I say there. It's not just <laughs> No, what I was going to... It's not just an opportunity for that. It's not just an opportunity for them to come in and maybe even express frustrations or something. I mean, they're there as representatives of their respective communities. They have the ability to interact with devs and share that sentiment and feedback they've always had with guys. But you would have seen even me doing that on Twitter, extending that invitation to yourselves. And we always want you guys to do that. Um, we do it every day, of course. We're out there on Reddit, we're out there on Twitter, we're out there in a lot of people's streams too, um, wanting to check in on folks and see what you like about the game and what feedback you have for us. So never never shy away from sharing that stuff with us. We always appreciate it. Um, but yeah, there was the opportunity for the game changers to do that, of course, directly with the devs um, and of course we were there to show Firestorm um, and yes. folks got hands on with that and we'll talk more about that later on um, but it, it went from that to then you flying straight back here back to the studio yep. and the office yesterday where of course we had even more people come visit us there was lots more people play, yes, and then a lot, lot of interviews with yourself as well so yeah that, that voice would get a bit hoarse yeah it's yeah. a bit yeah so it's been, it's been <laughs> like a bit of constant talking but this is the good part this is the awesome part where um, you know, I'm very lucky and privileged to be in a position to be able to be a, you know, voice piece for the studio to be able to talk about this. But obviously, it's not a solo effort. Like the whole team at Criterion have been absolutely smashing it. Um, so so proud of what they've managed to pull together. I can't 
honestly, you probably, if anyone follows me on Twitter and they've seen me bigging up Firestorm or like jumping on the, you know, the train, the bandwagon, like, it's all because I'm just super hyped to, to show you what we've actually got and, you know, to kind of be somewhat of a little bit of a mouthpiece to, um, you know, big up the guys in the studio because, uh, yeah, they've just, they've worked wonders. Like, when I can talk in more detail about exactly what they've managed <laughs> to pull off, um, I will. And, uh, uh, yeah, you won't be able to get me to shut up. But, um, um, hi to everyone who's watching back in Criterion. And yes. You guys have, you guys have nailed it. Everyone's going to agree with that in... Let's see, what are we now? 20 minutes away from your first look at Firestorm. If you are just joining us, you're just tuning in going, hang on a minute, Freeman, this is Rush. I've been playing this this week as part of Tides of War. Yeah, that's fine. Yes. Soon, soon, top of the hour. We'll Dollar. be here, we'll be Do good to go. Dollar. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, it's been... Um, this is a great part because, you know, you work a good deal of time on something and... Yeah, in the dark as well, a lot of the time. In the dark, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yes, yeah, nice to be able to finally bring it out to the light. No puns there. There you are, you sneaky. He was hiding up there on the ridge. Right, I'm going after him. Oh, no, there is another guy behind me as well. There he is, right. Up. That's the guy I was looking for. Right, come here, you. Sorry. Uh, Amit Joku asking oh, there, I've got what, a hit. what about new maps in BFE? Um, again, we've already said as part of. Um, a part of chapter three, which of course is where Firestorm is debuting. There is a new map in a new location, a new location being Greece. That is going to come as part of the next update. We'll have a lot more information on that through next week as well. Um, yeah, there are of course new maps coming to Battlefield. Glad you're excited for them. Um, big fan of the Firestorm map as well, which again, you guys have gotten very small glimpses of Tiny in the bit. little, little teases that we've kind of pushed out there. Um, and some of the earlier Firestorm trailers, of course, as well. Um, again, just, we're, we're sitting here just like, I can't say anything yet, <laughs> can't say anything yet. Another, another, another 20 minutes almost, another 15 minutes, we're nearly there. Soon. Soon, but yes, the map is... It's lovely. legit. It's lovely, it's legit, it is <laughs> totes legit. Mr. Pro Westy in the chat as well. Good afternoon to you, my friend. Uh, I'm Busy a, week for you, Westy, hasn't it been? No. No? Well, I guess. A little, little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Love you, Cam. Jesus, good afternoon to you. Thanks for joining us, Squid Eye. I so want that jacket, says Squid Eye. Should we take a look at this jacket? Oh, yes. Like, so you've seen me wearing this, obviously, quite a lot anyway. But this is an extra special version. So this, of course, is the standard Battlefield V jacket. Let's, let's get it over on this camera here. How about that? Um, but then, just as an extra special, look at this, because the back of mine says dice. This one, how about that? It's a bit criterion-y. A bit criterion -y. Look at yeah. that. It's absolutely gorgeous. Which, you know, I was like, OK, I should wear my jacket, but if, <laughs> if I did, then you wouldn't be able to see the back. Is yeah. It? So, yes, we have this here. Um, if you would like to get one of these jackets, go to careers.ea.com. <laughs> <laughs> Search for criterion. Yes. Always, it's always the top question. In, in saying that, I probably do have more of these versions, not the very cool Firestorm jackets. I actually have more of these. And uh, I think free Battlefield Weekly, of course, we're going to be back now weekly with you talking about Battlefield, talking about Firestorm. Probably have some of these to give away because uh, I found a load in the cupboard the other day. So um, in, in your cupboard in, in your house? In my special cupboard. Yeah. <laughs> We know it's one of the most requested things. So, um, as well as best community in the world emblems, um, which we will be dropping in the chat periodically, um, we of course have these these nice little things that we'll do what we can to share with you. I just yeah, touching on the the best community thing. Um, obviously, we haven't been working fully on Battlefield mm. like um, you know throughout the course of you know the franchise, and we, we're you know Criterion are fairly new to that. Um, but the community have been super super welcoming. Like I've never. I've, Honestly, not had any toxicity at all on Twitter, and all of it is awesome things from people making like, um, you know, Firestorm posters and like, like book mock-up fronts of books. books. Yeah, <laughs> like, and obviously, uh, you know, Sergeant D Danger Cow on his tractor, absolutely fantastic. <laughs> which, you know, you'll be pleased to know Sergeant Danger Cow actually got that clip actually got shown to the press. So, <laughs> just to show you how awesome. A lot are. of people have seen that one now. Yep. Yeah, it's good memes. Wheezy, good afternoon to you. Thanks for joining us, my friend. Always good to have the Dank crew in here. Hope you're well. Um, Someone asking a question in the chat saying, Mr. Pro Wesley, any video today, mate? 
I'm going to go on and take a punt on this one. Probably going to have a Firestorm video up talking about the trailer later uh, on. Yeah, I don't know. Just a punt. I imagine he does. <laughs> Uh, we have one of uh, we have some of the dice crew in there as well. We've got uh, Jeff in there as well. Hi, hey, Jeff. Jeff. Good to have you here, my friend. I actually got to meet Jeff in person for the first time the other day because we never actually crossed paths. <laughs> it's good to meet him. He's a nice dude. Sneaking out from the sandbags, you sneaky, sneaky bugger. Oh bloody hell! And um, yes, good afternoon to you. Um, if you are just joining us, this is Battlefield Weekly. We're back. Excited to be back. Of course, we're back because we want to start talking to you about Firestorm. Um, and that conversation starts in like 15 minutes when the trailer drops. So stick around with us because you can watch it here with us. And stick around with us um, again in the, in the chat after we've shown the trailer because, of course, John's here. Hello. John Stanley, lead designer on Firestorm. He's going to be here with us to break that trailer down, talk to you guys a little bit more about what it is you've actually watched after you've watched it. Yeah, what, what did I just see? What did I see? But it, it's... Um, it, it, it is funny because, again, I, I've said this many times on Battlefield Weekly, but I'm in this lovely, unique position where I get to work with you know, these very creative folks like John and the team back at Criterion and see everything that happens behind the scenes to get to this point that we're at today, where, again, you guys get to see it. And it's, the hype doesn't go away for us. As much as we know it's there for you guys getting to see it for the very first time, it's there for us too because finally you get to see it and we get to know what you guys think of it. Yeah, what you think, yeah. And that's, that's, that's a great point, actually. And on, um, you know, social media channels and, you know, with the game changes and all those, you know, people in there, um, feedback's the best thing. And I always welcome feedback, as long as it's constructive. Absolutely, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, always open it's, to that. It's grand saying why you don't like something, but tell us why you don't yeah, like yeah. it. If you have suggestions on what you think you'd like more, tell us that bit too. Yeah, have suggestions, because then I don't have to do work. I can just <laughs> put your suggestions this, in the is this Is this the, the behind-the-scenes look <laughs> at how it. a senior game designer works? It's like, Shh, Twitter said that, I'll just do this. No, don't tell me. <laughs> do you just submit Jack Frag's <laughs> videos? Yes. As, um... All right, here we go, guys. Today we have uh, Exhibit A. I do love when the snow, snow falls off the roof. Uh, it's it always been one of my favourite things about the Narvik map, of just having a, bit, a little bit of cheeky, see if I can do, do it on this one here. Here we go. Uh, uh, no, that's not that type of roof. <laughs> <laughs> I've just made a hole in that for no fun at all. Oh, I've got another kill. How, there we go. I can, see, just warming up. It's I can, absolutely I can, fine. Yeah. Oh, that's definitely... People are just waiting to cheese on me. Freeman, how's the cupcake addiction going? I mean, no donuts today on Battlefield Weekly. We've skipped the donut challenge. I think it's just not good for my sugar levels, <laughs> <laughs> if I'm honest. Well, you had a um, beautiful brownie the other day. Really oh, right. I did, yeah. Um, shout out to Max, who's, who's with the team at DICE, who I've worked with for many years, and I love him to absolute bits. And, of course, getting the opportunity to go back to Stockholm and seeing him is always fantastic. But the second I walk into the studio, he just walks up to me with cake. Cake. And I'm just like, I love you. You're great. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I remember, so yeah, we were about to, I was about to present um, to the Game Changers a uh, little deck around Firestorm. And I uh, sit next to Freeman, I'm like, where, where the hell did you get out from? <laughs> Very well looked after, you, you are Very well looked after. Well, that's because you're loved, because you're <laughs> Mr. Lovable. That sounded really insincere. I actually mean it. <laughs> very, very mean it. <laughs> what about pizza, says Birdie Nass, theme of the week, yes. Pizza, yeah. <laughs> I've loved reading about all of that. So for those of you who haven't been on all the pizza memes, um, this week, I think it's at 343 announced that Halo is coming to uh, PC. And there's a joke on Reddit, one of the devs said, if you were to announce it, I would send pizza to the office and then they were just inundated with pizzas <laughs> in the office. Awesome. <laughs> Interesting. To, to the point where they had to put out tweets saying, please stop sending us pizzas. <laughs> the, the receptionist isn't in today and we don't have the logistics to manage getting pizza. We, we don't have the power to take on all this pizza. But well, that's a pro tip for next time. So when we announce something new, it's like, oh, just, cool. Yeah, say what you want. Yeah. Like a pair of Beats headphones. Yeah. Yeah, just. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, I'd actually really like a puppy. A pu now that's going to get very dangerous. That could, we're, we're that could, that could very be rapidly messy. going to turn yeah. Criterion into a little puppy house, <laughs> which I'm fine with, by I'm, the way. I'm fine with that too. I'm fine with, by the way. <laughs> Winner, winner, pizza dinner, says Carbonic. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, I'm not giving you all a good show today. I, 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 I got overly confident because, of course, I've been playing 
Fire Storm this week. Um, I've been playing some Battlefield 5. I was playing last night on my PC as I was. Um, I got myself a new graphics card, so I jumped on just to, just to do what everyone does when they get a new graphics card and go, I should have a quick look. To look at the shinies. Um, and yeah, just had an absolute great time with it. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, dead, dead, dead. I am the worst <laughs> at multitasking. As <laughs> Sterling Robson saying there in the chat, need rush mode with only tractors. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, that would, that would kind of take away from the name of it, rush. It would be more like slow. It would be a bit of a trundle, wouldn't yeah. it? Trundle. Call it trundle mode. That's a, good, that's a great name. <laughs> Meander. Ooh, come, come here, you absolute swine. Oh, no. Ah, oh, you just, just as the round ends is when I get a melee kill. Uh, well, there you go. Listen, welcome to Battlefield Weekly, folks. Uh, we're live for the next few hours here with John Stanley, lead designer from Criterion Games on Firestorm. In less than 10 minutes, you're getting your first look at the trailer. Hang out with us, chat with us. If you have questions for John, by all means, throw them into the chat here. We'd love to hear from you. But yeah, thanks for joining us. You're going to see first look at Firestorm soon. Soon. Yeah. But otherwise, Battlefield Weekly is back. We're going to be back every week now for the next few next few weeks, next through all of Chapter 3 at least. Uh, talking to you more about, of course, what's happening with Battlefield playing some Firestorm. We'll have, again, more of your favourite Battlefield guests here on our sofas with us over the next few weeks. And as well, of course, more guests from Criterion. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I think we should make that happen. Yeah. Because you've got some pretty, pretty spicy good players hanging out just around the offices there. There's a couple. Um, Caitlin, yeah. especially. Yeah, you guys need to you see this girl. She, you know, she should be here. Basically, today, she should have been here <laughs> playing. Playing and, just off camera? Yeah, exactly, yeah. I'll be like, yeah, I'm the best. Uh, yeah, Kate, Caitlin's great. Um, and yeah, like shout out to what well, shout out to all the guys back at Criterion, really. Um, if anyone's actually watching, I bet Alan's in. Alan, if you're not watching, I'm going to be <laughs> the, the bromance is over, dude. I mean, like, surely there's still some work to do in the office, right? Not just yeah, kicking up, yeah, yeah. yeah. Obviously, um, <laughs> yes, just bits and pieces. <laughs> little, you feel little things. Yeah. Uh, right, we've moved to Twisted Steel. Up Twisted Steel. <laughs> I, I am getting the plan. There you go. Question from Bullseye in the chat there. Question for John. How are you on this fine Thursday afternoon? Sir, I am very well. Apart from sounding like death, I don't feel like death. <laughs> so, so that's okay. How are you? Right, here we go. We're going to do this. Uh, no, Danny. No, we're not. <laughs> just, 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 just no to that one. <laughs> oh, I got... I'm... I'm uh, you're in a queue. Oh. Well, you, you are patiently waiting for the Firestorm trailer. I am patiently waiting. <laughs> oh, Punisher, no, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Oh, hey, Lee. Lee's in the chat as well. He Hi, is. Lee. And again, if any of you guys were trying to follow the conversation from Stockholm this week when we took some of the members of the Battlefield community out and our game changers out to take a look at the game. Lee was actually doing a really amazing job posting behind the scenes of this is what actually goes into one of our game changer events. So if you haven't, find at Just Big Lee on Twitter. Have a look for his tweets. Get that behind the scenes look at the way it is we do these things. Another lovely man. All right, we are five minutes away, people. Five minutes. Will there be a party back in Criterion today? Is this part one of officially revealing it? Will, will the guys take a bit of a moment to have a step back and so, give themselves a pat on the back? Yeah, I mean, well, we had a bit of a moment on Friday, actually, which unfortunately I wasn't, I wasn't actually in the studio. They did it without you. Yeah, they did it without me. <laughs> um, it was my own choice. But um, yeah, wait, so last Friday we um, had a bit of a celebration. We got some beers and stuff. Like anyone who follows uh, in the Criterion people probably would have seen like a massive stack of beers on the, uh, on the kitchen table and other drinks uh, and we handed out these actually i don't know if you can see these but these are um physical criterion dog tags very cool um and uh yeah we've got like our personalized ones on there with like our name firestorm regiment so it's cool so i already know that safer is immediately going to be looking on ebay for these <laughs> I don't, i'm pretty sure you already... we've got some pretty hardcore battlefield memorabilia collectors out there yeah i know that we um yeah, I had a few people on Twitter already asking, like, how do I get one? <laughs> I was like, well, I think at some point we, we'll do 
some kind of giveaway. I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure. So. Uh, Bullseye is already offering to trade jelly beans. <laughs> that's, a, that's an older. Uh, so I should probably fess up to this now, actually. So oh, I can't remember exactly what it was. I'm, not, I'm sure um, Bullseye will refresh me exactly what it was. But um, there's something I was teasing up on Twitter. And uh, he's like, so what's the clue? What's the clue? And I was like, jelly, jelly beans, <laughs> just off the cuff. <laughs> and ever since, like, he messaged, he's got, that just become the meme. Yeah, it was just a meme. <laughs> and then he's just like, dude, I've got the, is it something to do with red jelly beans? I'm like, no, no. Uh, oh, no, yeah, it could be, it could be. Um, <laughs> yeah, so sorry, dude, I just massive red herring on you. Mr. Frags, just Frags. Just Frags, just very quickly. I really appreciate your support on Twitter. I know that you um, always like, I can retweet all of my stuff. You're, you're a good dude. Thank you very much. I just joke things. It's just, my, there you go. My, my chief king of all bakers has just popped into the chat. Love you. Love you, Max. King of bakers. Right, three minutes. We're getting closer, folks. Just three minutes. We're nearly there. And then we can just stop here and, you know, just waffle in and actually start talking to you about all this stuff. Yeah. But we wanted to get you guys here. We wanted to hang out with you. We know that you guys are just sat there anyway, pressing F5 on... Well, you know, waiting for the trailers to come. So before we hang out with you guys here, you can join in it. Echo, good afternoon to you. Good to have you here, my friend. There you go, just Frank's giving you the hearts there, saying love you, John. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> and of course, you can find John on Twitter too, at JS Lockload. Um, so if you do want to follow him for all the Criterions and Firestorm news, is, um, John can happily point you in the right direction. So, so and give, giving John the plug there. There'll, be, there'll probably be a large amount of stuff around other things like Marvel and games in general. <laughs> like that's, that's my life. Infinity War is soon. Say again? Infinity War is soon. Oh, Did saw, you see Captain Marvel? I saw yeah. Captain Marvel on Sunday. Dude. So good. I'm hype. So I'm good. Super hype. <laughs> like, oh, no, like, I thought I was going to be a bit worried about the Uncanny Valley on Samuel Jackson. Right. They did such a good job. Yes. A fantastic job. I think I saw a uh, Tactical Britain there just now. Oh, there's, Hello, always, there's always a. You're not supposed to be in lectures or something, Lockton. Oh no, you said it's your reading day today. Now I remember. <laughs> reading, re reading the Twitch chat. Yeah, reading the Twitch chat day. Firestorm hype. Get on the tractors, folks. We're nearly there. Sorry, Endgame, not Infinity War. Forgive me. Anti-social Marie. I think you should probably say hi to Izzy. Hi, Izzy. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually good that I'm in a queue because now it doesn't, you know, I don't have to go in there pretending <laughs> like I'm actually doing something. Oh, and yes, it does make your fiery ring, yeah. Right, one minute warning, folks. Get ready for this. We're nearly there. Um, yeah, so as a reminder of what we're going to do today here on the stream, um, we're going to play this trailer for you. Yep. We're going to come back. We're going to take another look through the trailer. We're going to talk through it with John. Again, you'll have questions. Feel free to throw them into the chat. We'll answer what we can today. And of course, there's going to be more things that we're going to come to talk to you about over the next week or so. Um, later on in the stream, I'll give you a heads up of what to even expect through the next few weeks as well, because um, we'll have the ability to talk to you about when Firestorm is actually coming. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about Game Update 3.0. Um, so hang out with us this afternoon. Of course, we'll be playing some Battlefield in the background. But we know you're here to talk Firestorm, so let's make the most of that. Uh, I see Mr. Uh, ben on there. Mr. Walkie. Mr. Walkie's hanging out, is he? Show, Forge in the chat. Show me the tractors. You, you've <laughs> seen the tractors. <laughs> right, are we ready for this, folks? We've waited a very long time to show you it. But here you go. This is your very first look at Firestorm. Sit down. Okay. Yes.
Xbox One, get Battlefield 5. There you bloody go. Your first look at Firestorm. How about what chat? It's been bloody amazing watching you react to that. What do you that think? Was great. That was awesome. <laughs> Seeing a lot of worlds, nice, brilliant. Oh, I'm loving the celebrations in here. Um, is that nice? Is that nice to see that reaction what, in you, there? Well, you saw me just now, like when we were off camera, like I'm just like massive smile on my face, just, <laughs> just to see like people going through and being like, that tractor, that ring, look at the ring, look at the ring. Um, yeah, it's awesome. Um, but yeah, most importantly, there you go. You have your date now for Firestorm. Soon. Soon. March 25th, <laughs> no, it's right there. Yeah, very soon. Um, enjoy it. March 25th. What are you, you going to do? Are you going to book off work? Do you need a doctor's note? Do you need a note for school? Me and John will send you one. I can worry. probably forge one. We'll yeah. forge one. We'll yeah. do it for you. It won't be great, but I reckon it'll be a pass. <laughs> um, but yeah, obviously, uh, I can't wait actually just to get on the, um, you know, when it's live and play with people, probably. See if you can come hunt me down. I'll be, um, I'll be 10 times better than you just saw me playing here, that's for sure. <laughs> Right, so what we'll do is, is while we have John here, we'll start playing the trailer up again. We'll keep it running on a loop for a while. You guys, by all means, jump in with your questions. We'll talk a bit over the top of it, talk about what you're seeing. Um, again, you've got right there, this is probably going to be one of the big talking points for you. Yes. The helicopter. Yes. So. Um, so this is in the game. You're not just doing that to just show no, up. No, 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 no. That's, yeah, yeah. Pretty much whatever you've seen in the trailer there, you, you, you get to do, you get to play. Um, so yeah, the helicopter was... Uh, both an interesting challenge, right. but fun at the same time okay. because we're Criterion and we like all yeah. things vehicle. So um, we're like, okay, so what's actually out there? What, what's going to make sense? We've got the uh, land stuff already, obviously, yeah. with the cool tanks and combat vehicles. And uh, we've got the sea stuff in there, which you've hopefully seen as a little clip in there on the shroom wagon, which is epic, by the way. Um, like, right, so we're all going to, yeah, like, well, what was around in the World War? So we started doing some research looked into it and we actually came across this model of a prototype helicopter, which was actually used in World War II. Um, and yeah, we, we kind of went to town on it and just started crafting it out. Like um, our vehicle handling guys back in the studio, like Henry and Alan did great work. And um, uh, we had like the, our vehicle artists as well, like Giuliano and, and Mike, uh, you know, do, again, doing fantastic work on this. And um, yeah, it just kind of came together and. What we found is that, um, without going into too much detail, what we found is that obviously it gives you a different style of gameplay when playing yeah. uh, because now you're up in the air and you're doing whatever you want to do, you're shooting off the side and that kind of thing. But it also just gave us a brand new perspective on the level that we hadn't been seeing because we've been boots on the ground like for, for a period of time for your development until we brought it in. And so it's like, wow, wow, actually this is really awesome because now we can see it from a, from a, whole, new, <laughs> a whole new world. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's really great. Um, there you go. So even like Billy and McGates asking that kind of question in there. Does the Helo mean we're going to end up with secret weaponless chapter as a callback to 1942? Would that be cool? Is that something you'd actually want to see? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Carbonite asking there, is the helicopter coming to regular MP at some point? Um, again, for, for now, this is just about what works in Firestorm. Um, if that's something you want to see after playing Firestorm, by all means, come back to us. Tell us about all those that kind of stuff. We enjoy that. Um, McNeish saying there, can't wait to play this. Danny on PC saying, some of this stuff needs to find its way into BF5. <laughs> <laughs> Did everyone pick up on the song choice? Burning down. Very house. British, I feel, but yeah. absolutely love the remix there. there. Um, um, totally haven't had that in my head day I, and night I, for I, weeks. I, just, I can't get over the start of this trailer, though. It's just tonally, it's just, it's brilliant. This is a proper <laughs> callback to the likes of, the likes of a Battlefield Bad Company. with a Yeah, 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 so, yeah very bad company in there. <laughs> Actually, I remember the first time we got to see this part, laughs in the studio were great. Like, yeah. Yeah, it, it just resonated instantly because one of the things that it highlights there is that kind of um, only in Firestorm moment you're going to get or only in Battlefield moment. And uh, yeah, it's really one of those things where um, you've got this, uh, oh, you use big word, that took the position between, uh, you know, something which is realistic yeah. with like an artillery strike, but at the same time it's playful. So we, I, I think we've, Managed to achieve a nice like marrying between the two. I like talk to us about the actual way that this trailer comes to be because like again you guys work incredibly hard on making the game mode and then of course there's a team back at Dice who yes. produce a lot of our media yes. stuff. Like what, how does that kind of relationship work for you guys and like at what point were you just brought this and they showed you and went how did we do? <laughs> well, I mean obviously there's uh, people from, from the Criterion team which can give 
direct feedback yeah. into the trailers and things like that themselves. So it's been a good two-way channel. Those guys great and obviously very uh, respectful and open to the things we're doing because they come to us and go, well, you know, as the experts on this mode of Firestorm, does this make sense? How yeah. does this? How does this? And so, yeah, it's been, been really great. Lovely. Um, yeah, Anuki Zombie there in the chat saying, thank you for the tractor. <laughs> Tractor memes are real people, they are real, I promise Super you. real, super real, <laughs> yeah. There's been some uh, yeah, discussions uh, like in, the, in the studio about, like, well, can we get a, um, a team day out, some tractors? Or... <laughs> Genuinely, we nearly had the conversation of, let's redo the Battlefield Weekly set here and just stack up some tractors, <laughs> some tractors. down the line. We could absolutely do that. <laughs> I, would, I would do that, I would do that. Uh, Half Chan saying, you've been nervous of trying any Battle Royale game, and this one is making you really want to give it a go. Awesome. Good. Glad to hope you're enjoying yeah, glad it. Glad to hear that. <laughs> uh, Jerry Blue saying, we can drive the tractors, yes? Oh, hell yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. And you will have seen uh, right now on the trailer, you can see you can put a nice turbo on the back there as well and rain down some yeah. devastation. Yeah, is that the six pounder or hanging out on the back of that tractor? I think he's had Pack 40. Pack 40. Yeah. So, uh, it's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's a next level of. There's a couple of things with a tractor. Yeah. Next level of memes when you then hook up a pack 40 and take down a bunch of people in a house. But then if you manage to get the mythical tractor kill, right. run someone down with a tractor, that's like next level insult. That's <laughs> great. It's the new tea bag, people. It's the new tea bag. Tra tractor bag. It is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, when we were over in um, Stockholm during the week and uh, with the game changers, Put a thing out there. Anyone that managed to get a tractor kill gets a prize. So and did anyone bag I one? I don't think anyone bagged one. A bunch of people tried. But I, I tried. Yeah. I tried. I ended up driving it off a, off a undisclosed location. <laughs> I know you, um, uh, Jade had a good, a good bash. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Steve's asking in there in the chat. Um, are you able to use your existing cosmetics in the game? You are indeed. Yeah. Yes. So anything that you've got customised on your uh, Firestorm character, uh, for your company characters, will you then be taken into Firestorm, your play as that character? Yeah. Um, and then again, you guys would have seen the, the very early version of a video that comes as the tutorial last week. I'm sure if you were very sneaky and looked on Reddit. Um, it would have shown you a bit more in, in terms of that. And again, we'll come back next week to show you the actual, both the final version of that video when the game mode launches on March 25th, and there is still another trailer to come next week, which is going to go into a lot more detail on some of those gameplay stuff. But yes, you still have the ability to customise your Firestorm soldiers and go in there the way that you're actually looking. Because as you can see on the trailer here, there are lots of different looks yep. that are available in the game. Yeah. I, I can't. This, this, <laughs> someone needs to gift that bit today. Okay? Oh, I, want, I would love that, I want please. This, this is the best gift yeah. in the world. We want to see this as a gift. It's the audio, <laughs> it's the audio that accompanies it as well. It's the little fizz bang you get from the flare as it comes out. Let's see our Rob's fake leaks. Did we? No, it's not just things we left lying around. No, tr just, trust me. Just, just the way we work. No. Um, which is, again is why we were very quick to say, and we'll repeat it here. Some of the things you may have found in reference to both Firestorm or the video you would have seen last week. Um, that is something where that's legacy stuff that's been patched into the game as part of development. There will be things that, again, as you come to see it next week, probably doesn't hold true. It's, mm. it's very true of just the way the, the game development kind of works. Um, so again, come back next week when you see both this next trailer and then of course on March 25th, when you'll have had the ability to actually play the game yep. and go, oh, okay, so yeah, that bit wasn't actually true. It's not a leak, it's not a hype thing, it's just a modern game development as, as we call it these days. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, 25th of March for the folks who are asking in there. Um, so thanks for those questions. Um, this Firestorm then, like presumably, it didn't always look like this. Like at what stage did you reach that point of, saying, we can make this Firestorm just look really crazy. Well, yeah, I mean, the guys, the back of the and the VFX guys, uh, shout out to, um, to, um, I'm going blank now, aren't I? He's going to kick my ass when I go in. Uh, you know, Kazza and Adonis. <laughs> Those guys did some fantastic work, and along with our, our TA team as well. Um, they just really went to town on it. But yeah. it's, it's one of those, one of those things where you start out and you're like, okay, this, this will probably work. And then they're like, Okay, we'll tweak this a bit. Tweak this. We'll go a bit big here. What the script? We was at ten. Let's go to fifteen. Let's dial it up to fifteen. So it just kind of evolved. And what's really cool about the ring is, itself is obviously that you know, as you've seen there, it's you know it has destructive yeah. power, but also it's um, it's a bit of a tone setter as well. So it makes the environment feel threatening. Mm. You don't want to be near that 
that ring of fire, you want to be out of it. Um, although, at the same time, it's cool if you do get caught up in it, because it looks awesome. It does look awesome. It's terrifying. Yes. And we very much look forward to you guys seeing that for yourselves. Of course, we did have Game Changers out with us in Sweden. Um, again, there were members of the press um, and some of your favourite big channels out playing the game as well yesterday in, uh, in the office at Criterion. Um, you're going to get to see that next week. Yes. That footage that people have been captured, you're going to get to see that out on their channels. They're going to get to tell you what they thought. Um, as well, of course, we'll be back next week with the ability to show you and talk you through some of the stuff that we captured ourselves. Um, so yeah, lots of questions in the chat asking for very specific details on things like solos, duos, squads, TTK and all that stuff. Again, there's a, there's a lot of gameplay details that it, it's less fun for us to talk about today, more fun to show you, which is why, again, next week we are going to come back to you with no, not only more information, but more trailers and stuff to actually show you that. So because we want you to see this stuff rather than just hear us actually tell you about it but it is of course something that these guys here at Criterion have given a lot of thought to to make sure that that, that you guys uh, will have something to talk about next week uh, yeah I, I, I just the firestorm is just it's so in spectacular to look at because you see it here as it comes in it's literally destroying the building things. Yeah. it's not just washing over it and becoming like a a dome shield nope. in a way. Oh, this no, is no. actually destructive. Yeah, and so that's uh, a couple of things on that. So you can be, as you'll find in, in kind of, you know, playing a Royale game, you'll be busy doing your looting, yeah. like, you know, being ready to, you know, maybe snipe on somebody or something like that. And um, then you'll be like, what? what is that noise? What's, what's that noise? And you look behind you and the back half of the building that you're in has just crumbled around you and it's <laughs> frightening as all hell. Like. It's still, yeah, I still get caught by it now and just be like, holy crap. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a abandoned ship, jump out a window, do whatever you need to do, you know. Um, and yeah, it's, we found as well that um, some emergent things kind of happen um, because it does destroy everything as it, that it touches. You will be, you know, perhaps within the zone itself or, you know, doing something else like grabbing a vehicle, whatever it is, and you just hear some explosions. You're like, oh wait, somebody's, Maybe somebody's shelling us with a tank. It's not, it's where the zone is coming in and blowing up power and tankers and God knows what it is. And that uh, you should poo, 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 poo. <laughs> It's great. That's Spidey Sam's asking there, is there a 4K version for the leaked Firestorm image? Which mm. image you're referring to? We do have some new art out there on our Battlefield channels. I'm sure if you go and have a look for those over on twitter.com slash battlefield there are some new images out there if you want to have a look for those i don't know as we have them in 4k but um, we do have the ea dice Flickr account which me i'll have a chat with ben later on so any images that we get as we publish them we will try and get you those 4k versions and we'll try and post them out on both ea dice Flickr, and we'll help share some of that stuff from criterion as well because um, again there is a lot of amazing pictures and artwork that you guys will get to see at some stage uh, michael dk2 no no gameplay today um, because of course it's not out yet march 25th that's when you get to play Firestorm. So we're looking at the trailer today, talking to you a little bit about, more about it. And if you have questions for John, John is the lead designer um, of Firestorm, brand new mode coming to Battlefield 5. If you have questions for him, ask us in the chat while we have him here. It's just, it's just too gorgeous to look at, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I love this. So some of the things we were talking about, the Royale kind of tropey type moments that you get, um, that we tried to turn on their head a little bit. So you see at the start of the, the, the trailer there where you've got the crossfire between the buildings and the bit that we saw just there which is like okay I'm just going to line up this perfect sniper shot <laughs> guy runs what are you doing don't hang around and washed in by the firestorm and just starts taking damage so it's great <laughs> uh, Bags over on Twitch they're saying look if I can run people over with a red tractor I'm happy <laughs> yes 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 uh, honestly the joy that you can get from jumping on that <laughs> just tooling around the, the, the level is great we got going on. You have a really good feeling about this, Credit Music. Very excited about this, uh, says Bosch. Glad you're enjoying it. Uh, thank you, Baron. Oh, pronounce that John, right. this is amazing. You're fired up. Like what you did there. See what you did there. See what you did <laughs> like there. Like what you did there for 25th of March. <laughs> enjoying that. <laughs> you know, and obviously Mother's Day is just around the corner. So, so probably some mothers would maybe like to play Firestorm for Mother's Day. Why not? Yeah. Just in time. <laughs> it's a great gift. How to celebrate with your mum. <laughs> Say, mum, I've had a great idea. I'm going to take you on a nice day out to this, this land of Firestorm. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's an odd day, but I'm all for it's it. It's odd, you know, yeah, well, you know, we're progressive, it's uh, fine. Uh, Bookshop Betty asking, can we perhaps have some tractor customization? Betty, what are you thinking? What do you <laughs> what do you want to see on your tractor? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm totally down for that, by the way. Yeah. Uh, folks asking in the chat, they're saying, John, is there a day-night version of the map? <laughs> no. No. Not at the moment, no. Does it contain droid deckers? <laughs> droid deckers, jeez. You, did you ever just get, why do you just, you know, cool in there? Because again, you guys got to work on things like on Battlefront. Did you ever yeah. just go, gosh, should we just put an X-Wing in here? <laughs> just just sneak one into the bushes. S stream, stream crossing, <laughs> you got to cross the street. No, obviously like stuff like that, we, you know, we tool around with things all the time. Like, not to say any, like actually any, it went into any like test software, but yeah, we spitball crazy stuff like that all the time. <laughs> Uh, Neil Akut is saying, please release the trailer soundtrack, it's really epic. I'm sure, again, if you go on to uh, our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash battlefield, if you look probably down in the description, we will have probably the credit for the music artist in case you want to go look for it on Spotify. Yes. Um, you can, of course, just go listen to the original Tom Jones version if you want. It's just as good. I promise. I like the Tom Jones <laughs> I like it. That was with the, the Cardigans, wasn't it? It was. I can't remember the name of the album. I want to say it was Reloaded. Yeah. Oh, I'm showing my age now. We're, we're so cool. I mean, obviously, I heard it off of uh, someone else. Like, yeah. I've just had confirmation in my ear from the other really old person here in the studio saying, yes, it was reloaded. <laughs> <laughs> Wheezy saying, you're excited to try this. Looks good. Glad to hear it, my friend. Um, we've been, again, so excited to have you guys. Not only see this today, but of course, you get to play it. March 25th, that's when you first get to do it. That's when you can do this. So talk to us about this last part that we see here, because you see a flare come out of this window and then artillery. And then artillery, yes. So um, was this a hard decision to make? Because again, when you look at other games that have done Royale, they've played with the idea of artillery. It's been less popular in some games, the red zone from PUBG perhaps. What was your thoughts about this when you decided, let's bring this to Battlefield? Yeah, I mean, so obviously we've, when this all started up, we were very careful to look at um, thoughts and feelings of players from across the Royale games um, and just do good research into that and yeah there's some negative connotations against AI controlled you know artillery zones so we're like okay but you know destructible buildings and big artillery strikes are actually really freaking cool yeah so <laughs> how, how can we make this feel a bit better so then we put it in the players hands instead so you'll be able to pick up an artillery strike from gaining a reinforcement flare so um, and again, it just, it just adds another layer of tacticalness to it. Instead of you just being like, okay, here's a zone that's been spawned here, I need yeah. to run. It's all the different layers of tactics that you can pull out from it. You can either use it as a diversion, if you really needed to, and fire it over somewhere else. You can use it as a full-on bombardment. Um, you can use it to bait people as well. So yes, it's just fun, loads of fun. Whenever we get one um, deployed, like we play test every day at Criterion. And so, um, yeah, it's just artillery, <laughs> just go. <laughs> No, it's great fun. Um, question from Golders in the chat saying, John, have you hidden any memes in the map? <laughs> Me personally? <laughs> Maybe. No. <laughs> Has there been any designers just sneakily just going, quick, while John's not looking, let's just hide one in here? So, not that I, not that I know of. But, but we'll find out. But they might have done, yeah. No, to, so to that point, there is, I'm not going to talk about it any kind of depth, but there is some intrigue in the world. Right. Yes. Go, go find it. Find the intrigue, people. Yes. <laughs> So. The map must be huge then, you're good, glad you're enjoying it. Uh, Voodoo Child asking some more general question. are platoons tags coming to Battlefield? Again, this is stuff that we'd love hearing your feedback on, please keep sharing it with us. Uh, right now, of course, there's, there's no plans, there's nothing I can announce, and until, of course, there is something that we could say on anything like that, or other things that we know are very popular with the community, stuff like RSP, it's better if we actually can point to it and say, oh yeah, this is a thing and it's coming here. So if you ever worry that we just kind of dodge that type of question or that feedback, please forgive us of that. But it's, it's always a case of when we hear those kind of suggestions that we would prefer to actually have a plan in place to say, yes, and duh, this is when you're going to get it. So forgive me for potentially dodging the question there, but please believe that we see this stuff every single day and it's things that feed back into the studio. These are questions that kind of get asked, so thanks for asking that. I saw a couple of things in there about um, map size, so won't talk to the specifics now, but, but. come back next week and sure. you will find out exactly how big the map is. I saw a comment in there just now, are there any dead grabbits outside the firestorm? No, stop with the grabbit killing. I, I I'm with Freeman on this, like, on, honestly, like, they're just nice little things, like why would you, 
<laughs> the poor little grabbies. <laughs> uh, tractor should be a reinforcement, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> tractor reinforcement. <laughs> Just call them in. Yeah, why not? Have a sneaky little look at that. Really want to know what the music is. It's not in the trailer description. Okay, I tell you what, I will find that for you later on, Andy. Um, oh, sorry, one and only's run. That was who was, who was asking that one. Um, I'll find it for you later and I'll tweet it out. So uh, have a look for me on Twitter at Part Welsh yeah. and I will happily share that with you. Um, Stalker Gnome says Steve. <laughs> Again, there is this great legacy in the Battlefield franchise in particular of, of doing these types of weird Easter egg things. Yeah. Um, Again, it's no fun if we tell you if there is or isn't them, because we know that half the fun is you finding them and trying to understand what that might play into it. But as John says, yes, there are intrigues built into the world. I remember having a great conversation um, with Ye, actually, um, over at DICE, just about getting into the mindset of his right. around some of those things. And my God, there's, yeah, he's got some cool <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy man. There you go. Someone thinks they might have already found it there. Burning down the house by talking heads. Ah, there you go. So f forgive us if that's happened there. Um. <laughs> uh, it's, again, Sound asking a really cool gameplay question there that we'll be excited to talk to you a bit more about next week. Uh, what about the different scopes of the guns? Do we pick up various items or are the guns kind of preloaded? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll, we will talk to you about that next week because, again, that is something that, of course, the team thought about when designing the game. There. Um, any fortifications from MP? Uh, Jack Peak, 64 players, yes. Yes, 64 players, absolutely. Uh, and Dimmy, yes, character customization. Again, you have the ability to customize your characters via my company. So the, the soldiers that you have in your company, you can bring over. And again, you've already seen the likes of, was it when you pre-ordered the game, you got access to Firestorm Ranger Yeah, so Firestorm Ranger yeah. Yeah, so there are going to be more Firestorm-based customization things that we can help bring to <coughs> Battlefield 5 through the introduction of the mode here. Uh, High colleague asking, next week will we find out about spectator mode for Firestorm? Uh, it'll be something that, again, we can start to talk to you more about yeah, next yeah. week once we actually have got these next parts bit out. But yeah, again, it's not a question that we want to ignore there. Uh, and yeah, as Broken Machine is confirming there in the chat, Firestorm is, of course, free to Battlefield 5 owners. If you have Battlefield 5, same as with the rest of the Tides of War updates where you would have seen the addition of things like Rush Mode, the introduction of the Battle of Hannah, the new grand operation that we've had in, in all our content. This is free. This is part of Times of War. So if you own Battlefield 5, good news, you're going to get to play it yourself on March 25th. If you don't, cool. Now's going to be maybe your chance to pick it up. Yep. Um, again, it is available on EA Access and Origin Access. So if you have EA Access on Xbox, there is a 10 hour trial available. So if you haven't kicked that off already, be ready to kind of boot that up next week and jump into that. Same goes for Origin Access. If you're already the likes of an Origin Access Premier subscriber as well for games like Anthem, you have access to Battlefield 5 too. So download it. You can jump in today. You can have a little bit of a play of it. I think that's what we'll do at this point. We'll jump back in. We're on Narvik Conquest here. Um, so we'll keep playing. We'll keep answering your questions. Um, and coming up after we finish this round, we'll take a look at Clips of the Week. Um, again, as John was talking about, Firestorm is going to bring, I'm sure, a whole new level of Battlefield memory with your amazing Only in Battlefield or now Only in Firestorm moments, maybe. Um, we do love it when you send those clips in. So thank you to everyone who keeps sending them in, even though Battlefield Weekly hasn't been on the air since uh, the start of February. Um, we've got a load of those clips banked up and ready to go. So at the end of this round, we'll show you some of those clips. Oh, awesome. We'll have a chat about them. We'll pick our favorites. We'll send you guys some best community in the world emblems as well. So we actually, um, the guys in the studio often do the same thing when we play test. Yeah, just save that, <coughs> save that, record that. <laughs> yeah, exactly that, they'll, they'll clip out the cool bits that have happened, send it around the team. Right. Full plane. We're on A. So this tank is new. And I, again, I've not jumped into Battlefield too much with everything that's been going on with things like Apex and Anthem launch. But look at the schnoz on this thing. Look <laughs> at that. It's just that's a hell of a schnoz. It's huge. And if I'm remembering rightly, it can only aim like in this kind of direction. That'd be bizarre looking oh, oh. thing, isn't it? Right, I'm not even paying attention to the fight here, John. Sorry. Right, this way. Oh, goodness, there's a bad, bad guy tank. He's got a smaller schnoz. Dodge away from him. Oh god, all the vehicles are coming. I've stupidly switched away from my assault, so I can't do much about them. Come back here, you swine. Oh goodness, I think he's just squished someone into that thing. <laughs> Alright, here we go. That's it, we're going to start getting the eye in now. Where are we capping? You on A? Where are we capping? I think we could D. Let's do it, let's go D. D, D, D. 
Um, but yeah, folks, thanks for joining us. This is Battlefield Weekly. We're back. How exciting. Um, we're going to be back now every week, pretty much. We'll be back next Thursday to talk to you more about um, everything that's, of course, coming to Battlefield through Chapter 3 yeah. and our next major game update, which, of course, is going to help then introduce Battlefield's Firestorm mode, which will come out on March 25th. So we're going to be back fairly regularly now and playing lots of Firestorm, I'm sure. Have more of your favourite Battlefield faces from across the Battlefield community here with us on the sofas. Have more of the gang here from Firestorm when we're playing Firestorm to talk to you more about that. Um, but grateful you guys tuning in today. We're going to stay live for another hour or so, chatting to you a bit more. Again, still to come, we'll take a look at Clips of the Week. Um, and then after that, we'll talk to you about what exactly it is you can expect next week. Because, of course, as I've said, that's the first of multiple trailers that you're going to see for Battlefield. Indeed. Um, so you saw our first uh, one today, which is what we, we refer to as our cinematic trailer, which is obviously incredibly suggestive of the gameplay. It's all captured, of course, in engine. Um, the DICE media team worked very hard to recreate what is representative of that Battlefield Firestorm experience. Um, but as well, we're going to have a more detailed gameplay trailer to talk to you about a little later on. Um, and of course, more. There will be more that we can talk to you about later on. So stick with us. Thanks for joining us. We are, of course, live on twitch.tv slash battlefield. If you're just finding us for the first time, stick the channel and follow. We absolutely appreciate that. Um, of course, we're live on EA Central as well, which is where we just do other general memory. You're welcome to give that a follow too. Uh, Balls, I ask you a question that I think we can quite comfortably answer today. Um, attrition in Firestorm. <coughs> um, in the sense of, we, you haven't <coughs> changed anything dramatic in the sense of, of course, bullets aren't going to be out of plenty. It is ultimately still a battle royale. Oh, okay, cool, gotcha. Um, no, yeah, it's, it's, it's very much battle royale. You're going to have to scavenge. Find, scavenge, yeah. yes. Find your bullets. <laughs> I actually just, I killed someone accidentally there. I didn't even mean to do that. I just wanted to nip at his legs and I've actually killed him. He must have been quite low on health. Uh, Kfire asking the question there about the new Grease map that's coming as part of Game Update 3 and Chapter 3. Uh, well, again, we'll have a lot more to talk to you about that later, uh, later on and next week for sure. Uh, C. Rob's asking, are the vehicles ah. available in Firestorm coming to the main game? Uh, again, things like the tractor, things like the helicopter, it's probably not going to necessarily make as much sense to just drop them onto <laughs> a map, because of course that's going to change potentially the balance of these things. But it's not to say it can't happen. It's not to say it won't happen. Um, again, it's going to be very important that you guys <coughs> jump in on Firestorm, play them, and then come back and tell us where you think they fit in. Would they suit certain game modes? Would they break game modes? but it makes things quite tricky for you guys, so... Um, That's a great shot, actually, yeah. It, it is always about balance. And was that a kind of a tough thing for you guys and the, uh, and the team at Criterion to do, to look at, of course, again, you've not just been working on this since Battlefield launch, it's been a much longer process mm -hmm. than that, but mm -hmm. looking at their plans of, here's what we're going to have in the game, which bits do you want to use? Sure, yeah, and I mean, that's always something that then, um, you know, bits and pieces will change or tweak or, you know, throughout the course of development and yeah we have to be mindful of those and see how they then uh, change up and affect what we're doing um but for the most part like you know we have some good communication and it's uh it's, it's not an issue but um but balance always matters right you don't ever want it to be that you get into a situation where there's going to be something funky happening no suddenly you've got the, the most overpowered god gun as god love the tactical brit likes to refer to <laughs> as <laughs> Yeah, so to that point, um, I, think I saw a question in there on, is the um, weapon balance the same as in main? Yes, it is. Uh, and deliberately so, because, um, yeah, we don't, want, we don't want to feel different yeah. between, between main and between fire stops. So. Uh, K-Fire asking there, are torpedo boats included? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that would be cool. God love those torpedo boats from Battlefield 1. Echo Limits asking a lovely question there. What is your favourite Battlefield game, John? Me personally? Yeah. Oh. I mean, the question was actually put as <laughs> at Criterion, but you recognise there's lots of folks at Criterion that might <laughs> yes. have different opinions. Yes. But what about yours? Uh, actually, like 1942. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Just classic, just... We're hiding it up on the shelf. Oh, yeah, it's hiding above there, well, yeah. No, we, we've moved the set around it. It's, it's, it's somewhere. We have it somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just love the... Um, what you're able to do there, how other kind of good theatres that you get there as they kind of come together. And uh, I particularly liked the um, the C4 memes. The C4 memes. Yes. <laughs> Were you much into your modding back then? Did you ever, you know, jump onto the Desert Combat 1942 train? No, not, not particularly. No, I was quite vanilla in that sense. Um, 
Yeah, I just like jumping in with the guys, They're like some friends back home. We used to jump in and play that good a good bit. No, come here, no, damn, damn you. Thank you. Sorry, Godzilla. And uh, obviously, bad, bad company is always fun. There's people just hiding up on these ridges here, not paying any attention in the world to me. Is there, is there another one there? No, someone else has got them. Right, lovely. Let's move on. Right, I'm going to go F, John. Okay. I'm, you, you, you're protecting the skies I'm, for I'm us. I'm complaining at the moment, yeah. <laughs> Did planes ever factor into the conversation when you thought about Firestorm, or was that just going to be I think we had to lean too far? Well, we actually, it was a bit of a careful balance as well, because everything that goes in has to be balanced against each other. Yeah. And so even then looking at the helicopter itself, it's like, okay, well, we can put this helicopter in, but you can't come in and just be OP. So, um, you know, we'll talk specifics now, we can talk about them later, but yeah, a plane was, yeah, maybe a, it was a bit of a step too far for making sure that we've got good, um, you know, rock, paper, scissor play. So. It would be quite awkward as well as the circle closes in to be really small. <laughs> You'd just be just desperately trying to just do this, wouldn't yeah. you? <laughs> And what a weirdo saying, how about an X-Wing instead? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> I'd love to see that. Maybe, maybe on April Fool's Day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this guy's got to go down, come on. Free, are you saying uh, your favourite Battlefield uh, game is Battlefield 5? You're saying it's so good. Glad you enjoy it, my friend. Um, again, there's been lots of content added to Battlefield in the last few months. So if you know you maybe took a break from Battlefield after launch, or you've just been waiting for Firestorm to come out before you stuck your head into it, um, again, there's been loads of content added in since we actually launched Battlefield. Lots more new guns, lots more new customization options. Of course, we added an extra single-player war story in there, The Last Tiger, uh, which is a really, really good story to play. Um, and we recognise there is still a fix yet to come for that, because there are some folks who still can't quite get that last, uh, the, the Last Tiger skin that comes with the special t uh, tank that we added in. Um, again, we've had new maps added into the game. Uh, we've had a new grand operation in the Battle of Hunnet, which we know has proved very popular. Mm -hmm. That's helped reintroduce rush mode to Battlefield. That's now live in the game as part of Tides of War. We've had some other things that have come and gone and will perhaps come to return again. Uh, Favourites like Squad Conquest, that proved to be very successful for you guys. So yeah, Tides of War has had a lot of content. And again, Chapter 3 is still to come. It's not just about Firestorm. There are going to be, of course, updates to the main game. Some of those have kind of snuck out as uh, quality of life updates on Twitter. If you follow Braddock on Twitter, Braddock was chatting about a few of them last week and uh, Juju over in um, Dice LA was talking about, again, just some sneaky little changes that we've made that allow you to customise your play a little bit better. So things like the ability in options to toggle an auto hold for hold on for revive or uh, skip revive. So if you want to just change those in options, that's kind of stuff that's coming in. So yeah, lots still to come for Battlefield. It's not just done when Firestorm drops. We still have a lot more to talk about and we'll have more information to share on that on our roadmap, which we've announced is coming soon. It will be here for you. Boom, edge. I'm seeing again, love for Squad Conquest in the chat there. <laughs> and yeah, for folks who are joining us, March 25th, that's when you get to play Firestorm. That's when it's time. It's nearly here. Book, book the day off. Just call in sick. We'll, 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 we'll sort you out. We'll get you sick notes, don't worry. I'm concentrating. I'm, I'm going for the kills now. <laughs> Do you have a favourite class when you're playing? Uh, assault. You go for assault? Yeah. Oh, he's cheeky, he's cheeky, this one. Is he gone? There he is. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Ah. <laughs> uh, Basak's asking there a question. Ping system in Firestorm. So has that been interesting for you guys, seeing, obviously, Apex come, you know, presum presumably out of nowhere to... Was it been fun for you guys to jump in on that in the office and have a little play on Oh, it? Apex, yeah. Like, uh, my life at the moment is basically Royale. <laughs> I, I will play for Storm in the office, obviously, um, as we've been through development. And then, you know, lunch times and after work, he's on to Apex. So, um, yeah, it's been fantastic. Like, what I really love is, like, what they've done with the, the kind of um, the hero side of it. Yeah. And gone down that route. Um, and it's really great then as well because, you know, we're very different. We both feel very different. Yeah. Firestorm feels very different from Apex, so... Um, 
Yeah, which is great. Um, but yeah, when we regards to the ping system, um, yeah, I think like you, they've done some fantastic work there, some great innovation there that they've done in like kind of uh, non-verbal communication in the game. I think um, the whole industry is looking at that at the moment, you know, <laughs> let alone us. So uh, yeah, I, I think you can ex expect some some things. Uh, Astral Naser says, are you guys okay? Your eyes look a little... So we've had a long week. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a bit of a long week, yeah. My voice will tell you it's been a bit of a long week. Yeah, this, but, uh, this, this week started for me and John over in Stockholm with our game changers. Showing them Firestorm, this is stuff that they're going to get to come back and share with you guys next week. Um, and of course, then we were talking to the press a lot yesterday, which is, again, why John's sounding a little horse. Yes, a little horse. <laughs> oh, tank. Yeah, hopefully people can actually hear me. <laughs> sure they can. Uh. So Rise Up, they're asking a question saying, I wish you weren't working on Firestorm and instead working on adding more content. So again, just to be very clear, Rise Up, Firestorm has been independently developed. Again, naturally in collaboration, but at Criterion. Yes. Um, there's a whole team of guys there, lots and lots of people yep. who've been working on this, in addition to the guys back in DICE in Sweden, and of course being supported by the guys over in LA too, who help work on the main game. Um, so again, it's not just a case of we just stole a bunch of people and worked away <laughs> on it. This, this has been something that has been very deliberately designed by an entire team. Yeah, from the guy, yeah, and that's been our primary focus. So, as you say, obviously there's you know systems and features and, and those kind of things which obviously we have to be aware of that have come in from main game. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's been a uh, just pure focus on on the Royale mode. So. And um, yeah, it's been I, I don't know, it's been great actually. <laughs> like it's just been loads of fun developing. Um, cool whip there saying first cool. amazing spelling on your cool whip. There. So many questions, things that we aren't answering. Yes, there are going to be things that, again, we're not unintentionally avoiding today. It's just we recognise that when it comes to things with Battlefield and, of course, Firestorm, it's better for us to show you than tell you. So we've shown you a trailer today, so there's things that we can talk about that you've seen in that trailer. Um, and again, there's going to be more trailers, which is going to help us further that conversation some more. And next week, before the game releases, uh, on March 25th, you guys are going to get to see actual gameplay. You're going to see gameplay from the likes of the press, the likes of the game changers that would have came out to capture the game, the different events we've done this week, so that you can then see it for yourself. It's, it's less useful for us to talk about things that either don't exist or that we're not ready to physically point at and go, this is it. That's where we always manage to answer those questions best. So forgive us, please forgive us that we don't necessarily have those answers. Um, it is always one of those tricky things of game development, um, but I promise you it's never ignored. Um, and you do catch again the likes of Ben going out on Twitter, things like, for example, last week he commented um, on Reddit for folks talking about, say, RSP, for example, he said, this is something we're having meetings on. Again, it's, it's an it's a awkward answer to kind of give you because we recognise that that for you may interpret very differently. So we're always very careful to balance what we can say until we can point at stuff, because that's how things get best get done. Yeah, uh, okay. like you're saying there, because stuff can change so quickly, then it gets even more frustrating for us to come out and say one thing and then it it change underneath. Yeah. So. Yeah, Sergeant Battles, as we said, how many players per game? 64? Yep, 64. Yeah, you will see 64 Battlefield players playing around on that. Uh, what a weirdo saying, you should try to get Ben on a stream. Ben is, ben is always, always more than welcome when he's visiting us from Sweden to come onto Battlefield yeah. weekly. Um, he, he is in the chat. You can see him watching with us today. He's always welcome. He's a nice chap. <laughs> um, <coughs> we did, of course, have Lee with us last, last season on Battlefield Weekly. Um, Lee enjoyed coming back. Although it gets a bit weird. It's like one of those Doctor Who things, <laughs> isn't it? The two doctors. <laughs> Zippy, thanks for the hot trailer, guys. Love the pun, love it. Work is calling. Enjoy the rest of your day. Yes. <laughs> this is work for us. How amazing is that? <laughs> we get to hang out with you guys. We get to chat to you guys and play some Battlefield. Hashtag privileged. <laughs> so on March 25th, Chapter 3 also releases. So Chapter 3 uh, may actually start a bit earlier than that. Uh, we'll, talk, we'll talk more about that after that we've finished up this round. After, <coughs> oh. we've, after we finish this round, of course, we're going to uh, show you some clips of the week. Again, we've got some amazing Only in Battlefield moments that you guys have kept sending whilst Battlefield Weekly has been off the air. We'll take a look at some of those, celebrate the cool things that you guys do in Battlefield. And again, encourage you guys to start sending us some more because, again, Battlefield Weekly is here for the next few months. 
Um, we want to, to send you to send your battlefield moments over to us. And of course, when Firestorm launches, send us those. Honestly, that's that's one of the things I'm most hyped for, just to see all of those, you know, gifs or clips coming out <laughs> of cool Firestorm moments. Because again, we've we've had the pleasure of you know not only working in the studios, but you know, doing play tests on them and then getting those clips. And again, there was a wicked montage that you kind of put together to show off this week, <laughs> which was a, extra specially unique in that it came from the various stages of development of Firestorm. It, it did. So yeah, it started out life as a um, a bunch of play test uh, clips that um, had been put together by one of our guys back at Criteria, Adam Pierce, um, and he did a great job there. Like he basically wanted to highlight all of this cool footage that people have been capturing throughout the playtest and show it back to them. And I think it's one of the nice things about Criterion in general. They're yeah. always really keen to help celebrate like what we've what we've done. Because um, all too often you can be too close to something or get so entrenched in yeah. it that you don't take a second step back. Um, that's actually part of um, one of our, our kind of ethos at Criterion is that every Friday we have a thing called a, um, a broadcast. You know, Ben totally stole that from us, by the way. <laughs> just, just so you know. He won't be happy now. <laughs> um, but yeah, we have a, bro a broadcast on Friday afternoon, which is where we come together as a whole studio and just show off some of the stuff that we've been working on from the different teams. And it's a great sense of camaraderie. Everyone can see what cool stuff's been going on. And often we will show things like those clips. And so, um, yeah, Adam debuted that at one of our broadcasts. And it was fantastic, like really awesome to see some of these cool playtest moments that have been put together. And um, I was so impressed with it. I was like, this really shows those, those only in first, yeah. first moments, only in battlefield moments. And uh, I then um, wanted to do a bit of a tweak on it, just to change up a few things. And then, um, yeah, we showed it off to the game changers, showed it off to the press. And uh, yeah, they were loving it, loving it, loving seeing all those, those cool moments. So We're excited to see yours, we genuinely are. Good. Um, again, when you have, whenever you have those cool clips, take yourselves over to the Battlefield website, uh, ea.com slash game slash Battlefield. Um, it says at the top, it says like media, and then it says like only in Battlefield. You click on that, you can send us your clips. Just upload them on YouTube. If you're playing on the consoles, um, you can record them, share them to your socials, send us the links to them. That's how we get them. Um, and of course, if we can feature them here on Battlefield Weekly, we'll send you a best community in the world emblem. Extra special, unique item that you guys can have. That's awesome. Um, yeah. It's been cool as well because there is a Criterion Games emblem, and I think Dog Tag as well, already in the there game. Is, is this bad boy, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. That is really, really cool. Like being able to see that in there and um, I, I remember like I don't know I was going to say it sounds gushy it's not how proud I was when the game went live and to be able to log on to the servers and actually place that as my emblem and <laughs> be running around and be like come and get me come and get my dog tag but um, yeah it's great yeah great and like community wise like we were saying they're just just really awesome I get to Perry I expect some sick tractor drifting <laughs> <laughs> tractor drifting <laughs> Honestly, on social media, don't don't ever worry about um, over tagging. Tag me and everything. I'll, I'll watch all of them. There you go. At JS Lockload, if you're not <laughs> following me on Twitter, make sure you uh, make sure you do and just uh, even even myself spam spam the hell out of us because it's the best thing in the world for us to be able to see all the cool stuff that you guys get to do and play when you're playing playing the game yourselves. Actually, that that community kind of section, like what I remember with the original trailer that came out. Yeah. Was that a few? No, it was a plane coming. Thank God. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the original show came out, and then there was all the you know versions which were dumped, recut with different music, and then you know there's a few the other day that we were messing around with a Firestorm trailer, like a uh, teaser trailer. Like I love that. We will see some coming out of uh, the trailer release today. I'm just looking forward to finally being able to gift this and start sharing that trailer. Yes. There's so many awesome small moments. Uh, Thing Amber Bob saying. <laughs> Thinking about what you just caught me out on the name there, that's brilliant. Re <laughs> just realised that yes, it's a remake of a Tom Jones song. All about the Welsh. Was, did Tom Jones do the original? I think, I mean, it's from the 60s, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Originally, I swear, oh, I don't know. And then he re released it. And then it. he re released it for Reloaded. Ah, with, um, okay. Jesus, who was it? Was it Car the Cardigans? It was the Cardigans, yeah. yes. Oh, come on. Um, yes, 
M33 Hand91. We are just playing some Conquest right now whilst we're chatting to you guys, hanging out with you guys, answering your questions that you might have for John Stanley, lead designer on Firestorm. I'm um, we, we're just playing regular Conquest and potatoing around whilst we hang out with you guys. <laughs> potatoing around is definitely the <laughs> we're never Listen, we're never going to dress it up as anything more than it is. Um, we have our moments, trust us, but there's a reason why on Battlefield Weekly I generally have the likes of Westy here with me, Broken Machine, <laughs> Tactical Brit. Carry. They make me look good, you see. <laughs> they make me look good, it's fine. I'm sorry I couldn't do that today. Uh, it is always, again, fun because it, you know, we had this event in Sweden this week where members of the Battlefield community got to sit down and play with devs and, of course, Criterion, who have yes, been working on this yes. game for the last year. Uh, you guys didn't hold back. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. So, yeah, so, um, you know, there's been other times before when players, or we get people to come in sure. maybe a bit earlier and, uh, you know, see the game, give some feedback, where we're like, okay, guys, you know, go a bit easy, let them, let them experience what's going on. <laughs> and then, obviously, because we're now at the end of production and, uh, you know, the guys are playing and, you know, everyone at Quartier has been playing a good bunch and, and getting very good at it. Um, I was like, to, to Quartier and people, don't hold back because the game changers won't. Yeah. And then said to the game changers as well, like, you know, Expect some, some some good opposition today, <laughs> like they're, they're ready for you. As uh, Mr. Monsieur Rohart, hopefully he's watching, and now I'll be pissed. But it's all, am I, oh, I just, yes, anyway, you're fine. Cool, I said pissed. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, because uh, he, he may have got pipped to the win by Mr. Jack Frags in the round the other day. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, which which he Just was maybe much <laughs> salty about. <laughs> but it's always good fun. Like, you know, the, the studios are wash when we're playtesting with just shouts and God knows what. Who just killed this guy? Where's where's he died from? I don't want to revive him until I've killed the. I'm oh, I, I killed the guy here. He was here. He was here. A uh, question in the chat say, will the Ring of Fire use more CPU power? So the, the two questions we'll come to here first. Do you guys call it the Ring of Fire? What what do you call it? The firestorm. It's the firestorm. Right? It's firestorm, yeah. Or fire. I just like fire's coming. Fire's coming. <laughs> uh, then the second question: Is it going to change the minimum requirements for Battlefield Five? No. Nope. No. No. -uh. Runs wonderfully. If you're already having a good time playing Battlefield on your current rigs and setups, look forward to playing it some more. And it's just going to look that extra bit prettier. Uh, Hard chance saying, Freeman, will Team Meme reunite for some Firestorm gameplay? Yes. Yes, they will indeed, Hub. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll sort our times over the next few weeks, but Battlefield Weekly is going to be back now every Thursday. We're obviously, we're live very early today because we wanted to be here with you on the hype train playing uh, the trailer out this afternoon. Um, but yeah, we'll be back at our regular time slot for the next, for the next few Thursdays. Uh, we are going to be playing more Battlefield. We are going to be playing more Tide to War. Yes, though, of course, from March 25th, we will be playing more Firestorm. Firestorm. And yes, we will have memers here. We will have the gang from Criterion with us, um, who are, again, both very good. And we'll be here, of course, to help answer your questions and uh, talk to you guys a little bit more about the feedback that they're seeing coming into the game uh, and the feedback that you want to come and share with us because we recognise whilst you've got that first look at it today, gameplay is where you're really going to get the feedback coming from. Yep. So, um, so yeah, we'll have, the, we'll have the whole meme team back here. We'll, we'll see about the donuts. Freeman needs to go on a diet. I don't know if I can handle it. We'll get bananas or something healthy. As you know, those, those are far too suggestive. We don't want close-ups of any of the Grapes. <laughs> you get some nice grapes. 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 Um, cucumbers are negative calories, although we're going to have the same problem with that, <laughs> I reckon. Uh, Kieran asking there, will Firestorm have RTX available? I mean, it's Battlefield Five. Yeah, You've yeah, already yeah. got an RTX rig. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Dead Chamber, explain the armor system in Firestorm. Again, next week we're going to do that. You might have missed it earlier on, but as we were saying, it's better to show you rather than to just... Yeah, talk about it. Um, it's better to show you. So let, let's come back next week. Let's answer, answer that same question. Talk a bit more in a lot more detail about it um, once once you've been able to get a better look at it. Because you wouldn't have seen any of that really in the trailer there. Um, but we recognise it is information that you guys have kind of been made aware of and that you want to ask more questions about. So um, yeah, come back and hang out with us next week. Uh, we'll answer a bit more on that questions. Uh, Steve asking there, any update or info on variable skins for sites in BFE? Would really prefer not being limited to iron sites for every gilded weapon you accomplish. Again, that's really great feedback. Um, it is something that, of course, if we have the ability to talk to you more about and show you what we can do, we will answer that question with a lot more detail. So um, appreciate the question. Don't want you to think I'm dodging it there, Steve. I know you've popped it in the chat a few times there. Uh, 
Uh, Yayo Hater asking, is it going to be free for everyone? It's going to be free for everyone who owns Battlefield 5. It's part of our Tides of War updates. That is something that you guys will get to play if you own Battlefield, yeah. Uh, Sebastian asking there, how to pre-order to get the nice stuff? And you'd have missed the trick there. Um, you would have had to pre-order the game last year <laughs> when it came out. <laughs> um, because, yeah, if you did indeed pre-order, you would have got yourself the Firestorm Ranger set. Firestorm Ranger. Which, sadly, we don't have on these accounts, otherwise we'd be showing them off today and having a little bit of fun with them. Uh, King Roughly asking, can I, ask, can I use the tractor to harvest crops? I mean, if your crops are people, potentially... Yeah, you could do that. I mean, you could always role play. You could role play. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how far that's going to get you in the in the old firestorm, but <laughs> give, listen, give it a go. Never let it stop you. <laughs> there was a great thing actually in one of our play tests where um, somebody used the tractor as a diversion. So right. It was parked. They parked up on a hill, and uh, they saw a bunch of people coming. There was two people left in the squad. And they took, jumped on the tractor, right. rolled it down the hill, so then people were like, tractor over there, gun for it. <laughs> Did a flank behind them and took them down. It was great. Sneaky, love it. Just sneaky. <laughs> Zippy saying, you're back. Work will be there tomorrow. You. Bless you, Zippy. You've given up on your work to come and hang out with me and John. We do appreciate it. <laughs> Kieran saying, do player customizations carry over into Firestorm? Yes, it uses, yep. uses the my company or your company system. Sorry, I'm just running into a snowbank there. Um, yeah, so however your soldiers presently look, and again, there's going to be more customization coming to the game as we get into new chapters for Battlefield 5. Uh, yeah, you have the ability to bring that. They are your soldiers. It is your soldier, yeah. yeah. So it's important that you guys get to carry on that, that look in your gameplay. <laughs> Hard channel. I want to hear a get off my land <laughs> voice clip for a tractor road death. <laughs> sneak, no. sneak some more little Criterion and Dice Easter eggs in. That'd be we? cool. That'd be cool. Now, in fairness, I think Danger Cow did offer to me several times to come and record these types of uh, <laughs> these types of voice lines. Never That's did take him up on the offer, but I was showing yeah, showing that in the studio got some great laughs. <laughs> Sneaky bugger. <laughs> Voodoo Child saying, Freeman, I've seen a 10 times scope adjustment in settings. Will we be getting a 10 times scope MBFE? It could be something that can, again comes as we release new weapons into the game. Um, again, there's nothing I can talk to you about today on that, unfortunately, but um, you've noticed you, you've noticed a setting. That's all I can tell you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, your ex wife, I, I'm assuming you're a time traveller of some kind. Um, <laughs> you know everyone is screaming for new maps, will we see more or only a few? There are more maps coming to Battlefield, again you're going to see the next map coming as part of Chapter 3, we have a new map in Greece coming to Battlefield 5 um, and again of course we can start talking to you very soon about what the new roadmap looks like for Battlefield. There are more chapters coming and we're going to get to talk to you about them um, and yet yeah, as we've said throughout all of Battlefield there are new maps, there's new weapons, there's new customizations, there's new experiences that we can bring to Battlefield 5. Um, again, you'll find out those details very, very soon. But yeah, they, they, we're not we're not done. <laughs> this is believe me, we're just getting started. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Uh, Flegafon asking there: bolt action sniper rifles will be one shot headshots in Firestorm. Um, again, there are going to be some small things that we're going to need to talk to you about next week when you've seen some of the gameplay about that. Um, but as John said earlier on, um, the gunplay that you're used to in Battlefield 5 carries, of course, over into Firestorm. It's the same type of gameplay, but th there are little things that kind of change perhaps your perception of that that we'll talk about next week. <coughs> yeah, I think the headline there is basically that we have, um, you know, if there's tweaks or changes, it's because it makes sense for the mode. Yeah. For the mode. So. I knew there was someone there. Oh, I got killed. Ooh. Oh, I'm just getting annihilated here. And as we were talking about earlier on as well, there is, of course, um, we saw it in the start of the trailer, the artillery strike, which you guys can already kind of play with because it's already in battlefield, the artillery strike, as a reinforcement. Indeed. Yeah. Was that nice for you to be able to have developed this thing that immediately 
that core game team back at Stockholm said, oh, can we have this? <laughs> this is really good, we like this. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. And obviously, like, um, you know, a lot of the stuff that's been worked up on Vice Tom has been, um, you know, using existing things which were there from Maine. And, um, but it's nice to be able to have a mutual kind of give and take, so. Yay, we did it, we won. Totally thanks to me and John. Obviously, I mean, I at least got one. I don't, I don't think I looked at the scoreboard there, so we'll, this is going to come as a surprise to me as to what happened next. I've definitely got at least one headshot. <laughs> uh, right, coming up, we're going to take a look at your clips in the week at the moment. Let's have a look at this scoreboard, though. Oh, look at that. We were best squad somehow. Well, it, well, it was obviously... Were we carried by Viking Mike in yeah, nearby Yeah, Nick? Viking Mike, you guys just, just did it. Doesn't I'm, quite feel deserved, but I'll take it. I'm, I'm definitely going to be at the bottom. About it. <laughs> Am I, where am I? Yeah, we've definitely been carried by Viking <laughs> Medic. But I, I, I'm all right with that. This yeah, is just, just, yeah. just warming up. We've yeah. represented there. Uh, right, as we've been saying, yes, you guys have been sending us your only in Battlefield moments over the last month or so whilst Battlefield Weekly's been off the air. Thank you for doing so. Keep them coming. If you've just had them banked up going, I keep doing all these cool things. I don't know what to do with them. Send them to me. Give them, them, give them. I want them. Um, and of course, we're going to want your only in Firestorm moments too. Yes. Take yourself over to the Battlefield website, click up on media at the top of the site, go down to where it says send us your clips and send them to us if you want to see them. Uh, we have always went back through and found some of the ones that you guys have been sending us through the last month or so. We thought we'd take a look at them. So here you go. This is this week's Clips of the Week. Clips of the Week. Lo llamé nada. No huyan. Canten mi himno, coño. Canten mi himno. ¡El diablo! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No, yo lo voy a el clip. Yo guardo el videoclip. Battlefield moments. That was clips of the week. Thanks everyone who's been sending me those clips. I love you guys. You're awesome. There were some amazing ones in there. Fresh meats revolver in a plane out the sky. <laughs> the surprise on my face is absolutely just as much as the surprise on fresh meats. Uh, we do love it. Of course, fresh meat. Member of the Battlefield stream team. So stick the channel on follow. Fresh meat streams with us here on Twitch.tv/Battlefield. So if you want to check him out when he's live, you can. And of course, you find him on Twitch anyway. Uh, but yeah, thanks for joining us, folks. This is Battlefield Weekly. We've been doing a special Firestorm stream today. We've done it a bit earlier than we usually would because, of course, we wanted to be here live with you when you got to see the trailer for the very first time. I'm Freeman, Community Manager here in the UK for Battlefield. You have with me here Mr. John Stanley. Hello, everyone. Lead designer on Firestorm. Thank you very much. Follow him on Twitter, at JS Lockload. He's going to have all the Battlefield news over the next few weeks. I want to see all your memes. Yeah. Send me your memes. We want the memes. Send us the memes. But yeah, thanks for those clips. Send us more of your clips. And be ready to send us Firestorm clips, because we're going to go mad with these over the next few weeks. We mm. really love having them there. Well, to that point as well, yeah, I'll be, I'll be on the battlefield myself. Yeah. As soon as this is out, I'm, I'm good to go. Come, come and find John. Come get me. You typically find him meandering around on the PlayStation. Meandering, yeah. Meandering. Oh, yeah. Bit of PlayStation, yeah. Yeah. Come, come get our tags. You're yeah. always welcome to come, come try and get our tags. I imagine we'll get a bit of a squad going, <laughs> Criterion squad. Mr. Al Frank will no yeah. doubt be in there as well. Um, yeah, so we'll be live probably for another half an hour or so if you want to hang out with us. If you've got questions for John, by all means, pop them in the chat. We'll be playing some Battlefield. We're on Aris Conquest, otherwise, in the background, just to give you guys something to look at whilst we do. Um, otherwise, I thought I'd just kind of give you a bit of insight on what to expect next week. Because as I've been saying all day, there's more to come. We're, we're not done yet. You know, there's, there's more to come for Firestorm between now and March 25th. Yes. Which, as you now know, is when you get to play Firestorm. 
So no. be ready for it. It's National Firestorm Day. Yeah. National Firestorm Day. National take a day off of work. I mean, it's that or Brexit, really, but let's not get into that today. <coughs> <coughs> right. That's, that's a, some kind of other storm. That's, another, that's a very different storm, yeah. and it's, it's definitely coming. <laughs> um, so, yes, next week, most importantly, again, Game Update 3.0 is going to drop. Um, we're expecting it should drop on Thursday. Now, again, these things might change. Um, so make sure that, again, you keep following at Battlefield on Twitter because sometimes these things have to move, but we're expecting to have that next week. Other things that will happen next week, um, and we'll talk more about that as we get into Monday, yes, you are going to see a new trailer. We have a gameplay trailer. What you saw today was cinematic. It's obviously super representative of the Battlefield uh, Firestorm experience you guys are going to get to have when you get to go hands-on with it and play it yourself. But... Of course, there's, there's gameplay details that we haven't talked about today that we're going to come back and talk to you about next week um, that you guys are going to get to see for yourselves. So we have a gameplay trailer coming next week. It is much longer. Um, it is what you're used to expecting from Battlefield where we talk to you and say, this is this and this is how it works. It's not what you saw on Reddit last week. That is what of an early concept of the tutorial that you'll get in Battlefield 5. Mm. Um, this is a different trailer altogether that goes into a lot of detail and answers a lot of those questions you guys have had in the chat today, um, which again, we'll be able to come back on Battlefield Weekly next Thursday and talk to you more about. Um, so look out for that. Um, we're also happy to say that we're going to bring back Dev Talks. Uh, the team over at DICE are going to be back to talk to you more about the future of Battlefield because we're going to have a roadmap. We're going to have a roadmap to share with you. And again, next week we'll be able to confirm that date and time. But next week... You're going to get what you got in, what was it, last September, around Gamescom time, where we said, hey, after Battlefield launches, here's what you get in Chapter 1, Chapter 2, and of course Chapter 3, which starts next week. Um, we have the new chapters to talk to you about. So next week, you're getting that roadmap. Um, again, these timings and dates may change, so I don't want to say the exact date and time today, because it, it may move. But hopefully come Monday, when Jeff posts up on Reddit, reddit.com slash r slash Battlefield V, Jeff should be in a good place to be able to talk to you about when to actually expect those types of things. Um, as well as that, something that is a lot more exciting for me, it should be that on Monday, 25th of March, when Firestorm launches, yes. the Criterion team will be live streaming the game as well. We will indeed. Yeah. Yes, we will. So, um, yeah, we're going to do, um, some of the people might have seen it before, we do like a Criterion Plays, or maybe, we, you know, we'll figure out how it makes sense. But you'll definitely have people from the Criterion team streaming at that time, showing off cool things. Uh, no doubt you'll be getting some top insight from some of the guys on the team. Top insight, top tips. Top tips, pro top tips. Insight, top tips. Yeah. Um, yeah, an opportunity for you guys on Firestorm launch day to hang out with Criterion. Uh, we'll talk to you about what channels we do that on. It'll likely be on Criterion's YouTube channel. Um, we'll talk to you about that next week, probably. Um, but yeah, you'll be able to hang out with the Criterion gang. Talk to them, play it with them. They're nice people. They're very nice people. I've loved hanging out with them the last, <laughs> however, however long this journey is we've been on together, John. Freeman needs to not go away anywhere, either. <laughs> Captain Barry says, as long as we get some memes, I'm down. Good. <laughs> oh, yeah, there'll be memes. Uh, so Just Sniper 1 saying, Chapter 3 trailer next week. So again, because they're the, one of the main features of um, Chapter 3 is going to be Firestorm, that's the trailer you'll see next week. Um, but in terms of what is coming as part of Chapter 3, again, that's something that we can help talk to you about through our Battlefield social channels, yep. um, talk to you about when uh, exactly on exactly what time you're going to get hands-on with Game Update 3, as we refer to it, otherwise known as Chapter 3. Um, that's when, you, again, we'll get the opportunity to talk to you some more about that kind of content. But we're not necessarily going to have a trailer that specifically focuses on Chapter 3, because Chapter 3 naturally is a lot of Firestorm, so that's what you'll see next week. But there is still a lot in Game Update 3 if you're not a Royale player. If you are a core game Battlefield player, again, we've got a new map. We've talked to you about that already. It's coming in the Greece location. Um, look out for that. No doubt, again, as we've dropped in new content like weapons and customization, it's likely that you can expect some of that news next week as well. Um, but we won't necessarily have a trailer for Chapter 3, similar to what we did for Chapter 2, uh, what we dropped for Lightning Strikes, which is what we're still playing here. Um, but yeah. Lightning Strikes. Uh, Giant Luigi asking there, what is the map size on Firestorm mode? Will the map be on Firestorm the same one that existed 
on multiplayer mode. So, I mean, it would, it's crazy big, is what we can say. Again, um, we'll, it's better that we show you it in a lot more detail when you actually get to play the game for yourself. And we could, if we wanted to, I'm sure, give you that boring number of it's exactly this <laughs> many square kilometres, if that matters to you. Uh, again, it's useless, perhaps, to talk into it today, but it's big. It's big, and it, it is super unique in the way that the team at Criterion have used it. It's um, pretty big. It's a big boy. But it will make more sense if we come back and talk to you about that next week. We ran straight into a fella there. Um, but you're asking ah. that, it, can then the map on Firestorm be used on a multiplayer mode? I mean, this may be something the team at DICE want to look at bringing to, to other game modes, but this is a map that is truly designed for Royale. Yeah, for sure, yeah. So it's been careful consideration around you know, exactly how big the map should be and why. Um, obviously, you will have seen from the trailer that we've got you know, a good variety of vehicles and you're not even seeing the full spectrum of what you can expect from Firestorm. And there was one specifically that we saw in the trailer there. Yes. A, a car boat. A car, the car boat, the Schwimmwagen. <laughs> Schwimmwagen. Yes, it's awesome. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. So when we were thinking about um, air, land and sea, you know, feeling battlefield. Yeah. And thinking about, okay, so what, could, what, what would we want to put in as, as an actual, uh, as an actual aquatic, you know, vehicle and it was like well we can we can put a boat in we can look at a boat we can do that but what's cooler than a boat well a boat there's a car so you can drive on land and be doing whatever you need to do traversing the, the map and then just jump straight into the water and vice versa and the, the water won't save you from the fire though right no 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 <laughs> there, were, there was interesting design discussions around that actually like well surely if you just dive underneath the fire um, underneath the fire then that will save you right so <laughs> Well, in the interest of gameplay and cheesing and exploiting, maybe not, you know, so. There you go, you're getting co compliments there in the chat saying your German isn't that bad, you've got the pronunciation down. Oh, great, it's just, just right. We, we were very embarrassing on Battlefield Weekly traditionally when it comes to pronouncing things like the, the Stumger there and the, we, we always end up saying it wrong. So. <laughs> God love us. I appreciate that. So yeah, Captain Perry saying we're going full James Bond then. You're damn, you <laughs> damn right, yeah. If you're not, if you're not, um, you know, dum 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 when you're in it. Then. <laughs> start, start planning your James Bond memes now, folks. <laughs> I'm looking forward to these on Twitter. <laughs> Harb Chan, Freeman, before I go, you've got an appointment. Would it be okay to message you on Twitter about something? Absolutely, Harb, yes. Um, by all means, ping me on it. And if, if we're not following each other, I'll look for you after the stream. We'll have a chat about that. Always happy for people to reach out to them. Oh, God, that's, that is, that's too good a pun, Harb. So if a, <laughs> a medic in the Shumba can sink, does that make them a soggy tater? Actually, so uh, this is <laughs> just totally reminded me of a meme, Sorry, <laughs> a meme that happened in the studio uh, <laughs> during development. So when we were, you know, creating the shrimp wagon, putting right. it together, somebody got a picture of it stuck on the wall, got David Schrimmer's face and called it the Schrimmer wagon. <laughs> it, was, it was good. I think that was Will, actually, of an audio team. It's great. <laughs> oh, dear. Is it March 25th yet? Are you <laughs> start counting them down, Gold Cup. No, not yet, soon. Not yet. Oh, no, there's another dollar. <laughs> Squeezy saying you call them ducks here or duck boats. No, yeah, so there's a bunch of different um, variations that were actually out in the war. So there were, there were yeah, the ducks of Spring Wagon, there was uh, British versions, there was German versions, lots of different ones. Uh, interesting question from Steve there, saying, is there any narrative around explaining the firestorm and also any narrative around how and why the Germans or allies are working together? So I appreciate it. we probably can't go into the detail because, the, again, as you said, there's intrigue. Yep. But this is something you have thought about in terms of designing that. Yeah, exactly that. And, we, you know, we didn't want it to be something which was contrived and there'd be a big narrative as behind while we're throwing, you know, Axis and allies into a massive ring of fire and killing each other because... You know, I think trying to get context out of that would yeah. be, you know, fairly difficult. So, um, but there is, there's a story more to what's happened on um, the island, or peninsula, I should say. What's happened there and why, and then you can, over time, be able to find out more. But it won't, it won't, it won't be there in your face. It will right. be some, something for you to explore. Which I think is more fun, anyway. Uh, Captain Perry saying you're going to hibernate after the stream because it started. <laughs> yes, I recognise for our international viewers, of course, it's the middle of the afternoon here in the UK. Um, 
<laughs> it, it can be quite early for you. We do appreciate completely you guys getting up and joining in this party with us. We really do appreciate you guys having being here on the hype train, as, as John and myself have said throughout the stream. Um, knowing how excited you guys are for Firestorm, it's, it means a lot to us and all of the team um, back in the studio at Criterion, it really does. We are just as hyped for you guys to get hands on with it um, as you guys are to play it yourselves. Honestly, like anything that we see coming through social channels, um, either it gets you know, signal boosted around the studio by myself or other people on the team, you know, we've got Slack channels and things like that, which we, uh, we're always talking and sharing stuff on. And it really is appreciated because like I was saying a little bit earlier on the stream, like you can get way too close to, to what you're doing and not yes. have time to take a step back. And then you get people sharing things and hey, I've knocked up a cool teaser trailer of my own or a cool piece of art and it's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah keep it all coming because yes. we love seeing yeah, it. It's we great. really do. Oh, right, I'm going for the melee. Come on, come on. Don't you sod. No, stop. God, I've made an absolute potato. There we go, he's dead. <laughs> I've made a potato out of this. Made a potato out of this. Oh, look at that. Look at this. Wait, go on. There's get a, on board. There's a wee tractor Hop here. on. <laughs> I'm outside the zone. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I remember Jack had a lovely big hunt for a drivable tractor, just hoping, hoping that one of them was secretly <laughs> drivable <laughs> in the game. <laughs> I love that from, uh, you know, finding secret things in games like that. I remember um, silly young juvenile me um, when I used to, I was playing Sonic 3 right. of all games. And uh, it was at the time when Sonic and Knuckles was already out. I was like, maybe if I just 100% it in a certain <laughs> way, it will unlock Sonic and Knuckles as well. I was the same though, but I remember with Sonic and Knuckles, because it was, it was a, we, listen, <laughs> welcome to the retro part. Oh, hi. So you had Sonic and Knuckles and you had a thing in the top that you could put Sonic 3 into. Yeah, yes. And yes. Sonic 2 and Sonic 1. <laughs> but you could also just put random games in there. And what it did is it read the code in a funky way and let you play weird versions of special stages. Oh, really? So you could do it with any game. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So like, you could put like, I don't know, Streets of Rage just in there. And then you'd load into the Sonic special stages and it, it would interpret the code and play unique versions. It was like the first, what do you call it? Um, not, not, not first Easter egg. It, there's, there's, a, there's a game mode thing that exists out there where you spawn and die and it's different every time. It was the first version of that is what I'm trying to think of. That's very cool. Right, I'm going to have to go dig out my You're going to dig out your Mega Drive. Dig out my Mega Drive now, yeah. <laughs> first roguelike, that's the word I was thinking of. Thank, ah, yes. Thank you, producer Matt, for whispering that one in my ear and <laughs> making me look smart. Roguelike. Uh, interesting question from Dark Soul there. So how will map optimization be for such a large map? Are we going to have much lower FPS on Firestorm? I mean, that's obviously a super very technical question. And again, the FPS aspect, I'm sure, relates to everyone's individual setup. But again, was that a challenge? Because this is, as we've already said before, the largest map and experience that's ever been in a Battlefield game. And of course, it's working off the same tech. Yep, exactly, yep. So, um, yeah, the... Uh the TAs and engineers at Criterion have done a fantastic job in being able to get this mammoth map. Um, oh, I got you know, killed, but I died. You still got that, um, you know, high quality battlefield visuals, VFX, gunplay, but all with this massive sprawling map. So, it, I'd say it's probably the biggest, uh, one of if not the biggest technical challenges that we've had. Yeah. On, but it's it's for a very good reason, and you know, when we're able to talk a bit more in detail as to why the map is so important to be the size that it is, then, um, yeah, you'll see as to why, why it was important to get that uh, technical hurdle sorted. Um, I'm very happy to just go hashtag Freeman Leaks here and just say it, it <gasps> runs beautifully. It, it really does run beautifully. So um, I recognise you will have that concern. And again, it's useless us talking about these things without showing you, which is why next week we'll have the opportunity to do that, as I was saying. Um, but. I, I put the concern to the back of your mind is what I'd encourage. It does run fantastically. Right, I'm good to go. You're on the track. <laughs> Let's do this. Start it up. You, where <laughs> you put the keys? <laughs> I'm just literally running around so aimlessly here because I'm always just so taken aback at how bloody beautiful this game looks. It really is. Right. Let's focus on this. Where, which flags are in... All right, are we right, losing... What we losing do? Where are we going? Where are we going? No, the F is... F is stalemated. No, it's going back the other way. Right, screw it. C. No, C. C's going the, the other way. A. <laughs> right, it's time. A. Right, I'll get our new buddies up on the way. Oh, no, I'm, I'm dead. Right. 
I tried. I tried, everyone. Um, yeah, of course, Battlefield Weekly is going to be back as well for the next several weeks. So, um, again, stick the channels on follow, turn on your notifications and whatnot. We're going to be live every single Thursday going through uh, what we will again have. Hopefully, Game Update 3.0 next week in Chapter 3. Uh, we'll be back for Firestorm oh. weekly. Um, that'll be back the following Thursday. And again, if you still need that fix a bit earlier, as we were just saying earlier, you can join the Criterion team on launch day um, and, and, and uh, <coughs> hang out with them in their stream, talk to those guys as they're playing. So if, like, perhaps right now you're at work and sneaking this under your desk on your phone <laughs> and you can't wait to get home and play, they'll be live in the middle of the day so that you guys can hop on um, and watch some gameplay with those guys and ask questions. Um, but yeah, Battlefield Weekly will be here. We'll have our regular memers. We'll have regular members of the Criterion team as well. Playing some Firestorm with us, hanging out with you guys. Uh, we do love a good meme. Yep. I totally just got owned by a Panzer tank in the face. <laughs> Ooh, there's a yellow tractor here. Um, yes, my shiny metal. Um, yes, this does look a lot more like Conquest and Firestorm. Of <laughs> we, 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 can't, we don't have it here to play with you again. There are versions of it playable, we won't lie, but they exist in Criterion. So unless we, we did this from the office today or we uh, snuck part of the office out with us, we wouldn't have had the opportunity to play <laughs> with you. So, uh, I mean, yeah. I, do, I do have this USB in my pocket. <laughs> just push it in and see what happens. Um, so yeah, we're just hanging out, playing some Conquest. Um, of course, Tides of War is uh, still going. We've got another week's worth of challenges for you guys to hop in and play with today and unlock some new content. Um, so make sure you jump onto Battlefield this week. Play, unlock the new stuff. Um, we're just playing Conquest because we like Conquest. It's good. We're potatoing. We're potatoing around Conquest, as we were saying. <laughs> um, but yes, Firestorm. You'll get to see more of it next week. Um, again, as, as we were talking about earlier, there'll be a new trailer. Um, as well, the embargo is going to lift, uh, most significantly. Um, that should be lifting, and again, caveat here of this may change but the embargo for our game changes who came out last week and the press of course that we've had out visiting us in criterion um, yesterday that'll lift next wednesday and we'll come back to tell you exactly when but next wednesday that's when you guys are going to get to see some firestorm gameplay and uh, that's when you're going to get to hear from them and hear their impressions of what they thought about the mode again we don't bring these guys out to sweden and then you know put a uh, Swedish baguette to their head and say... <laughs> Swedish baguette. I was, I was trying to think of the little Swedish cakes, but I can't remember the name. Fika. Fika. Yeah. Don't put any Fika to their, their heads and say, no, you must say this about the game. These guys are going to come out there with a enabled by or powered by EA Game Changers watermark, and then they're just going to talk openly about what they honestly think about the game, what they think about the mode. So um, look out for their content. Again, you'll have already seen on Twitter the likes of guys like Westy, the Tactical Brit, talking quite openly about how they were there in Sweden with us this week. Um, they are desperate and excited to talk to you about it next week, but it will be next week rather than now because we did also have guys flying out from the likes of Australia, guys flying out from Japan, guys flying out from America who, if we just put them on a plane, sent them home and said, right, make some YouTube content, that, you know, these guys want to do the right thing by it. They want to properly digest the information they had last week, the experience they had with the game, uh, and make something cool, make something cool, co some cool content for their channel. Um, so it will be that next week, you will get the opportunity to see their content on their channels. Golden act of heart. Ah, yes, the Swedish baguettes. Swedish, there are Swedish <laughs> baguettes. There's something unique about Swedish baguettes, I'm telling you. I just went to baguette mode because I saw Danny on PC in the chat. That's what happened there. Uh, Mrs. Voodoo saying, how do I get Voodoo Child one of those jackets? Uh, well, I, as I discovered, I actually have loads of these left over from when we launched Battlefield 5. So um, I think as part of Battlefield Weekly through this, this run that we'll have, uh, playing the game here on stream on the Battlefield channel. Um, probably come back next next week. Um, I'll see if I can dig a few out. We'll start doing some giveaways. We'll find some cool ways to do it. Um, we'll probably make part of it definitely going to be only in Battlefield moments. So I think as well as giving away some of those best community in the world emblems, we'll make it so that each week <coughs> I'll ask whoever we have on the show which they think the coolest one was and then we'll try and get in touch with whoever the winner is, see if we can help arrange for one of these jackets to come out to them. Again, we've had a there's two versions of the jacket. There's the version that I'm currently wearing, and then, of course, there's this one. Da -da -da. There you go. We'll put this over here on camera one. There's this version here. Look at that. Special Criterion version. Mm. Yeah, but it has the very cool, as you can see, V on the thing there. But these are really cool jackets. But yeah, these were made especially for the team at Criterion. Yes, very cool. Very lucky, actually. Um, but again, it's just awesome then to, you know, as the products come on and we've got these jackets, uh, well, I don't know, probably about, 
four weeks ago yeah but then you just see them a wash in the studio it's great <laughs> yeah. so, oh i was gonna wear it today yeah oh, we're cashing now. <laughs> there are two guys who actually <laughs> work up on my floor where um they have the same gray adidas jumper <laughs> and they literally have a whatsapp group of who's wearing the jumper today no and they coordinate it and then sometimes they do just wear it on the same day for fun go on who is it <laughs> a guy called spons and a guy called estefan they both, they both do that <laughs> Um, but yeah, it is lovely. It is lovely seeing more people in the, the office wearing the jackets and representing. Because it is a massive passion thing, of course, the team are very proud of the work that they've done. Again, it's been awesome seeing your reaction to the trailer today. And we're very, lucky, uh, very much looking forward to jumping onto Twitter after the stream um, to interact with you guys a bit more about that. But um, yeah, really, really happy to see the reaction we've had so far. Thank you for it. It, it, means, it does mean the world to us all that both EA and Criterion um, getting to see that, and so keep sharing your love. We, we do love it. Yeah, I can't, um, you know, corroborate that enough. Like seeing everything coming through, like everything we were saying earlier, from uh, crazy bits of art and things like that, and just summoning firestorms and all that kind of stuff is great. It just, um, yeah, you know, especially like in the times when you're trying to get the finishing touches on the games, you know, and there might be some tricky bugs and stuff to fix. Like lifts people up, so it's, you know, it doesn't go unnoticed for sure. Appreciate it. Uh, Kieran saying, jackets get given away after you get on Clips of the Week. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you're very capable of making more, Kieran. You know how good you are in those planes, so um, don't shy away from sending us more clips. <laughs> Want to see an inverted fly-through of the bridge on Twisted Steel? I would like to see that. <laughs> Baron of the Battlefield, welcome. Can't wait for Firestorm. Us too, my friend. March 25th, folks. Mark it on your calendars. Be ready. National, take your day off work day. <laughs> What are we going to do in the office on the 25th, honestly? What are we... Just play. Because usually we celebrate game launches in the office by doing these cool things. Like when Battlefield 5 launched back in, uh, was it November last year, we, uh, we had a little tiny tank in the lobby. Do you remember that? Yep. We had this little tank that you could get in and kind of tootle around and it was quite daft. We've done some fun things for Anthem as well. Um, I don't know if we can set the office on fire, though. For fire no, uh, my, uh, you know, there's a couple of suggestions around what, <laughs> what we can have in a canteen. So, you know, a nice hot curry or right. chili. Yeah, yeah. You know, we can do Dig some of in. that. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, <coughs> we can just get a tractor in, actually. We do that. We just get a tractor out the front. Well, I think people frowned upon um, what my suggestion was, was when people come in in the morning, they get um, a, a paintball gun. Okay. And a hopper of paintballs, and away you go. <laughs> uh, but... Uh, I t th see what the first floor is currently empty, right? Well, there Let's you go. just hide some Nerf guns around the first floor and just go, go. go. Like we open all the lifts, <laughs> and that's that's the drop. I'm gonna make a JJ. I'll be in touch, mate. I've got some ideas. I'm gonna make a cardboard cutter of, the, of a tractor <laughs> I can wear and run around. Uh, Fire, yes, you were one of the winners of the Battlefield jackets, I think, last time around. So you, you're very proud to wear it. Cool. Glad you enjoy it, my friend. So I've actually got to see the, the one that the Xbox store sells in America. I know it's not available here in Europe, so recognising we've got a lot of European viewers watching right now because of the time. Um, the, the guys in America via the Xbox store, you can actually buy this really cool rain jacket, um, which is it's quite nice. I actually saw that for the first time this last week, um, which is very nice. Uh, yeah, Ki Kieran, you can't, you, well, I'll let you in one. You can, you can send loads of clips, but only one of them is going to win the jacket, and we'll, we'll make sure it goes to someone else otherwise. <laughs> why, why is Kieran a penguin? It's hard to tell, isn't it? Can I jump in your play? No. God, right. We've got about five minutes left or so, which, which will probably let us finish up the round. Um, but to recap, again, there is a trailer live. Firestorm. So if you're watching internationally or you've finally just caught, caught a break or finished up with your school or college work for the day, there is a trailer live for Firestorm. Take yourself over to youtube.com slash battlefield. Um, you will, of course, find it on our social pages as well, twitter.com slash battlefield. Go watch it. It's bloody awesome. We'll finish up with it on the stream. So if you're in no rush, hang out with us. We'll play it one more time to finish up today. Um, yes, we've dropped a new trailer. We have more coming next week. And, of course, the <coughs> biggest news of all, March 25th, so in Firestorm's live. Yep, March 25th. Don't shoot down my plane. Don't want you to shoot it down. Why don't jump into your plane and help? <laughs> I'm not allowed because you're in combat. Well, I mean, I think it's a one-seater in fairness. So unless you oh, you're in a one-seater. Unless you want to sit on the wings of it. I, don't I could do a bit of wing walking, yeah. <laughs> Who is... Right, there's someone there. There's an anti-air thing there, right? Do I have anything I can do about that? No. 
<laughs> oh, I, keep... I haven't leveled this up. Um, Enigma in Paris asking about anti-cheat. Um, yeah, there is, again, we're going to be using similar systems, but the team who work on anti-cheat have done a lot of work on that the last few while, and we are working on getting some communication out to you guys to talk to you a bit more about the way it is that we, the, we operate on that stuff. Um, I just wanted to make sure you didn't think we hadn't noticed that question there. We appreciate that you guys always want the battlefield to be the best, safest experience you can have, and for it to be fair as well. So, of course, we do appreciate you asking the question. Right, I'm giving up on my plane. It's been shot down. Oh, no! no. I actually got ran over by the plane behind me! <laughs> Only in Battlefield, dude. Oh! <laughs> There you go, Gold is asking, can we get some Criterion merch? Get on it. <laughs> well, 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 then we might have a couple of things that we could give away at some point, I think. Um, yeah, maybe something. Oh, 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 right, I'm going to get you up. I'm going to do this. I'm sneaking through the bushes. Oh, no, I have to get up. There we go. <coughs> no, that was not plain sailing, Kieran. <laughs> Oh dear. Jerry Blue saying, there is a clip on the guy on the plane's wing who rockets the... I have seen that clip, it is epic. There was someone who last season in Battlefield Weekly promised me that they had... They, they reached out to me, I think, on Discord, and I, I can't find the conversation in my history, I don't know why. Maybe I dreamt it. They were telling me that they've got clips of them flying every single plane through the bridge on Twisted Steel. Oh wow. Including the bombers. What? To which I said, okay, I, clips or it didn't happen. Yeah, well, show me, yeah. I need, I need to see those clips. Um, oh, God. Yeah, they say that the bomber fits, but there is not much space on either side, so it was. It took them a long time to pull that one off, but I want to see it. If you've got that clip or you've done it yourself, I want I want to see it. <laughs> uh, Flake Fawn asking there, where do we share our clips with you? Uh, take yourself over to the Battlefield website, click on media at the very top, and you'll see there it says only in Battlefield. Click on that, there is a link to our submission form. Just upload the clip on uh, YouTube. Uh, you can use your console to do that. If you use it at PC, you can play using Shadowplay. Record the clip, post it on YouTube, put it as unlisted if you really want to, but send us that link. Send us that link. Um, alternatively, post it up on somewhere like Twitter, hashtag it, hashtag BF Weekly. I'll find it. We'll sort it. We'll sort you out. Um, but yeah, if you are watching on Twitch, we have the link for you there. Um, that will get you to... Wait, yeah, I've gone for the revive. I shouldn't have. <laughs> yeah, that's where you can get that. Uh, Kieran confirms. Yes, you can fly all of them through. It's just flipping difficult. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris Revan saying that you're going to be here all the time. You've got progression 40 on Lightning Joe. Congratulations, my friend. Well done to you. Ooh. Right, we've nearly lost. We're ending on a loss, I think, John, but we are coming up to the end. Uh, stick around with us again. We'll take one more look at that trailer to finish us up. Um, but yeah, I loved having you guys hanging out with you. Thank you for all your questions that you've had for John. Remember, if you have more of them later on, don't be shy to hit him up on Twitter, at JSLockload. We'll have it on the bottom of the screen before we finish up this evening. Yeah, because anything that I can talk about, I will. As always, endeavour to. Let's try for a cheeky pat. No, I didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. He's coming back. He's coming it back. It could be double cheeky if you just get the range on it. Where is he? No, he's gone. <laughs> Given up. Oh, no, he's coming back. Here we go. Steady, right, every, the world is watching now, John. No, he's, he's, oh, he's, he's, well, he he's well gone. He's well he, knows. Gone. he knows. He knows that you're doing it, see? He's stream watching. <laughs> <laughs> yes, send John all the means, says Joker Things. Please do. Please do. And, uh, yeah, I can uh, assure you that will get sent around the studio. Yeah, I should probably watch you shooting at me instead of trying to look for a plane. But. Nah. We're going out. We're going out on a meme. Go, going out on a meme? We're going out on a meme, folks. 16 tickets left. I'll just go for the melee kills at this point. Come on. Pickaxe. It's pickaxe time. Come on. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you're awesome. Did it. <laughs> See, if you just set your mind to these things, folks, it's possible. Oh, I'm being artillery oh, as well. Oh, it's a little bit artillery. No, oh, no. This looks familiar. <laughs> Just oh, I, I just want to hide in the house, but it's not safe. But I don't think this thing's going to save me. Yeah, well, just just imagine that when you've got a massive wall of fire on your butt as well. <laughs> Double the trouble. Yeah, look at the caustic gas. Look, caustic confirmed. There he is. Oh, <laughs> come on. 90, 90 damage. 
Uh, Dark Day is saying, is Firestorm free or do you have to buy the game? So it's free for all owners of Battlefield. It's part of our uh, chapter, uh, Tides of War chapter update. So chapter free, that's where you get Firestorm. So if you own Battlefield 5, fantastic. You're getting it next week. Otherwise, of course, you can purchase Battlefield 5. It's available as trials on EA Access and Origin Access. So if you just want to spend a couple of quid to check it out, you can. Um, otherwise, yeah, pick up Battlefield. Pick up Battlefield. You'll be able to jump in with this next week. Well, I, I suppose no surprise, John. Not, we're not exactly top squad. What, well, we were last time. We were last time. We were carried, I think. You know, we, no, we were carrying, weren't we? we, we yes, no, we weren't. Like we were. I mean, they still did an amazing job. We were still with the best two players on the server. But um, I, it, I don't listen... We PTFO'd, folks. That's what we did. The kills don't show it, but we PTFO'd. You can see that. You can see that. Uh, the sun scene. Good afternoon to you. You join us just as we're ending. Um, thank you to everyone who has been watching. Of course, Battlefield Weekly is going to be back next Thursday. Slightly later time. We'll talk to you all about it on the Battlefield Twitter channel. Um, again, next week, still lots to come. Another trailer, a gameplay trailer. Something that is going to show you and talk to you in a lot more detail about what to expect when Firestorm launches on March 25th. Again, game update 3.0, we're expecting to see that next week. Um, the content that we captured in Stockholm this week with our game changers and of course the press yesterday here in the UK, that's going to go live next week. Um, and again, the return of Dice Dev Talks, coming back to you to talk to you about what they've been working on, what to expect, because of course we're going to show you our roadmap for our next chapters. You're going to see what's coming in chapters four, five and beyond. Um, hopefully we'll have all that for you next week. So lots to come. And again, March 25th, Firestorm launches. John Stanley is going to be streaming with the Criterion team on the Monday. Indeed. Yep, it's going to be good memes. So we'll tell you more about that next week yep. as well. And of course, EA Central. Um, if you don't already, twitch.tv slash EA Central. Follow us. We've been streaming every week. We've been streaming other EA games, things like Apex, things like Anthem. So if you just enjoy hanging out with us and the crew, um, stick those on follow because we'll be live next week as well. But otherwise, John, thanks for hanging out. Thank you for having me, dude. Always. I really appreciate We're it. We're going to have you back, right? Oh, for sure, yeah. I mean, yeah. I need to actually bore some people's ears off with details <laughs> so, um, i appreciate yeah you guys obviously uh having to wait of skirting around things today but soon they will have soon. all the details you can handle another, another dollar in the jar yeah soon another dollar uh, in the jar. where can the people find you on twitter to send you the, the memes oh yeah so uh, on twitter js logload um js logload is it go. um and yeah please send me memes feedback anything you want to send uh, and if there's any questions i'll, I'll answer what i can so yeah, there you go. Um, of course, I'm there on Twitter as well, at Power Welsh. You're welcome to follow me. I want the memes too. Don't, don't, don't just don't skimp, on, don't skimp don't on the memes. Don't skimp on the memes. I need the memes. Everyone give love to Freeman as well. Honestly, he's, <laughs> he's, he's the nicest dude and I appreciate him always signal boosting everything we do. So yeah. he's, he's a good man. Like again, as you guys know, we, we love talking to you guys all the time. Um, as you would have saw if you followed me on Twitter this week, there were three big questions we asked you about Battlefield. You go back on my feed, you'll actually find them. Do share that feedback. As I said at the time, there's been so many that I can't always reply to them, of course, and replying sometimes is a bit dangerous because, of course, it might tell you yes or no, but we were asking you feedback on what you want to see come to Battlefield to make sure that, again, we can help pass that through to devs so that they see these things. But, yeah, mm. thanks for hanging out with us, everyone. We really appreciate it. Battlefield <coughs> Weekly will be back next Thursday. I'll be here. I'll have some more Battlefield crew with me, talking, playing the game, doing the memes. Send us your clips of the week, but otherwise, we'll see you next time, folks. We'll finish on that Firestorm trailer. All the best. Goodbye. Thank you, guys. Cheers. High criteria.
Xbox One, get Battlefield 5.